What's the world's fastest cake? Oh, fuck. Um, Scone. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I actually like that one. <laughs> that is good. I remember joking. my joke that I fucked up the other day, right? Right. I don't think we got time for this. Why did Charlotte fall off a swing? Oh. Because she's got no arms? <laughs> not, not. She's like. Who's there? Not Charlotte. Fuck's <laughs> <laughs> sake. That is shit. There's a millionaire. Now you know how I feel. Yeah. Go on, yeah. fucking hit it, Marlon. <laughs> Go on, then. Good evening, internet. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of In the Doghouse. This is normal scheduled programming. Uh, are you happy to be done with 80 beers around the world, Bob? Yeah. Um, yeah. My liver sucked dick. I was um, I was bad. I went on a, a proper detox, isn't it? That's what it's called. Detox. You have the old uh, green tea and green smoothies. Oh, like, no, no. Re- just, re- re- grass or fart or just... Water or nothing else. What? Water and nothing else. Yeah, obviously food. Oh, you know, I know that. Yeah, like, just water. No. The man of your legendary Kaliba drinking fucking rain. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to treat. I got to treat me liver. Obviously, it's just been like beat the shit out of. Effectively, like, yeah. I had to just flush it through, get everything out. Even I kind of struggled a bit. It and was I, heavy. I, I like a beer every s- 12 minutes. Yeah. Like, I, this can's been in my hand for at least 20, 25, <laughs> maybe 30. It's nice. It's nice yeah, to take your time like to, to enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to enjoy a beer and not, like, have to be like, Gutsini, shit. Like, <laughs> Quickly yeah. give a review, say something funny, and then, oh, ding, 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 Titch is there, ding, ding, ding. Oh, God. Yeah, right. Anyway, so enough about fucking our uh, uh, bad memories of the last couple of weeks. <laughs> Uh, who have we got on tonight, Mono? So we have the UK Four Loco Shotgun Team. <laughs> What's up? How are you getting on? Uh, also known as uh, Kinger. What's on? That is Stano in a 406 for anyone that doesn't know that. Uh, yeah, there is that one, yeah. Uh, then we got Hector. Holla, holla, bling, bling. He's, he's and um, Daneo. <laughs> Fucking Dano. <laughs> sake. Uh, Dano's got like two N's in it though. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. D-A-N-O. Dano. Daniel. Dano. Was... Either way, I papi. I papi. First things first. On the real just lost the game. Oh, 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 yes! yes! I don't it's know if been... anyone can hear, but Titch is cussing Titch like fuck. fucking raging. Titch it's is been a That is in bold, underlined capital letters on my notes, first thing at the top. <laughs> That's good going, because I can't count, count to ten. All right, so you're going to be called all sorts this, <laughs> this evening. Anything but Dano. Yep. <sighs> you know it, Shag. <laughs> Right, so you guys are obviously long, long-term listeners of the podcast. Since when, day when one, a, yo. Since day one. When about did you sort of pick it up? Oh. Well, I picked it up on me. Can't remember. Was... My brother introduced me to it. Shout out at Jack's game. <laughs> Keen. Um, we was in the pub, putting the word rights, and I said, hey, you want to listen to this, you? Put on uh, Rage's Pooey Tales. <laughs> Classic. And that was it. We got another round in. We put another level on. <laughs> it was I the like millions that. that got me. It was just the millions. <laughs> Fucking me millions. That was probably like, what, middle of April, something like that? Yeah. yeah. If, so since if then that. I've been listening. Well, I caught up as quick as I could and then every week been on it. Like, Yeah. We appreciate that. that we is, do, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Is, appreciate yeah. it, guys. Because Dan, I told you and then you told me and then I joined and then I've listened to every episode about four times a week because that's all I do at work is listen to me in headphones. Yeah. It's just nice to yeah. like look forward to on a Friday. Yeah. Like if you're having a crap week, just it gets you through a bit easier. Thing that's one day close to Friday and listen to what shit they've been up to. <laughs> <laughs> literal shit. Yeah, literal literal shit. shit. With a pooey tail. The funny thing is, is like we have like no great tales from the week. Like Marlon's doing a patio or painting his house, and everyone's that, so don't invested spoil in it. it. You'll ask how our week's been in a minute. I will, but. Like, <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you know. I could just guess. I could just guess. <laughs> I'm still a bit annoyed that uh, Reg is in the voice. Things disappeared. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. Um... This week in the voice, fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't well, done other anything. than Reg's hopes and dreams. <laughs> 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 it's a sad, sad situation. Of what? Sex life so or? Sad. Yeah, I'll speak to Doll about that later on. We've all seen Doll's batty. We oh, know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shut your keys in the bowl. 
<laughs> not yours. She ain't going to go for another pro show. She already got one. I got pro show. <laughs> not him, him. Oh, yeah. uh, oh, shout shout out to over six, man. Yeah, she ain't going to look at the ladder. Stano said either. right, unlike Dano. So he's got Beamer, wow. i got a Merc with German efficiency. <laughs> German it, 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 the fuck, like. Two pump jump, like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, I'm just about to win oh. another eBay auction. Oh. Oh. What is this Dang. one on? Oh, this is on the. No, this is uh, another Sega Mega Drive controller. Oh, God. How much is a Mega Drive controller? Uh, we're up to about four pound seventy-five oh, plus three quid on postage. It was Don't break the I was just betting forty quid or something stupid. No, everything else is hideous money. <laughs> I want a Super Nintendo, and they are hideous money. Yeah. If you want a real nice one. That's a SNES, isn't it? SNES, yeah. 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 Uh, also, oh. guess what came today? Oh, was it Jungle Strike and Mega Strike and the joystick? Uh, Jungle Strike and Mega Strike came Not Mega in the week. And I Desert sent, Strike. Desert Strike. And I sent you a photo of that, you did, yes. which you didn't seem very interested in. I'm sorry, I'm very fucking busy, Marlon. Um, and the joystick came today. Yeah. Does so guess work? what I'm doing tomorrow? Playing Jungle Strike and Desert Strike all, all fucking day. All day. Playing with his joystick and igno- ignoring Mrs. Marlon. You know it. You know it. <laughs> I've been playing with my joystick. Right? <laughs> <clears throat> Only because if you give it a dull, it would disappoint her. Yeah, well, uh, you know. Yeah, play to your strengths. Play to your strengths. So, Reg, how has your <laughs> week been? It started with me. Oh, here we yeah, go. Yeah, how's your week been, Reg? Um, we usually end right. on you, so I thought, like, we'd... Everyone go to sleep for yeah, is, is there some sort of chat shit. Is there some sort of joke coming after nope. this? Uh, or you just generally are Gen- Generally interested? Yeah, 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 the joke's not come from him. It's you. It's your life. It's fine. <laughs> oh. But I, we need we've a burn control over his mic here, yeah? <laughs> yeah. We, just, we, we, shut down, we shut down Hector as well, so we better not. Yeah, um... Shit. Fucking shit. I've had one of the worst fucking weeks I have had in a long time. Everything at work has gone wrong. Uh, you know when you just get to work and people say, all oh, things come in threes, and I've never believed that. Oh, they do. What, three assassinations yeah. in a week? I've had, yeah. He's missed I've, three shots, basically. <laughs> I've had <laughs> jobs fucked. I've it's had not surprising with those. Breakdowns. Eyes. I've had uh, things not turning up on time. I've had... Uh, stuff that's meant to go out not going out on time and just it's just been a fucking shit show so do you know what i know how people really look forward to a friday and listen to the podcast i mean i always like, enjoy recording the podcast i have not looked forward to getting in here with a pack of benson's gold and a pint of fucking dark fruits more than i have this week so it means a lot boys thank you for yeah. being here Shout out that and, uh, dark fruit, mine. yeah cheers to that on, cheers, I've, cheers. I've fucking, i'm on teach party yeah not, not trying to have a dark fruit yeah, and a wife like, on I would, the yeah, I, today. and then marlon's on his uh can of make sense to the missus like <laughs> the old actor twat <laughs> yeah I'm not trying to get too fucking emotional about shit. it but yeah I fucking I've, need, I've needed it. this I've needed this so yeah I appreciate you boys being here and I, you text me like midweek and you're like I'm sorry for being fucking shitty this week and I was like why well, I just, <laughs> just thought, thought you've been I knew you're I knew you've been off a little bit, but you don't need to fucking apologize. I've, I've just been a fucking I've been a miserable cunt to everyone. Like so you've like, been a cunt to your missus, you're trying to get back in the bedroom, you just apologize for whatever you've done. Yeah, just uh, I I just get out the list. I apologize for <laughs> start at the top, not cleaning, not doing this, not doing that. I haven't cleaned the dog shit up at a garden. What, walk yeah. in walk in with a big bar of dairy milk and a box of flowers. Oh, uh, it's almost like you know me. It's weird. <laughs> it's so, it's the generic, last the last uh, well, I do this thing where if I really fuck her off and like you know when you really fuck your missus off and you look a pack of milk tray. You look, not the if the lady does love milk tray uh, like yeah when you fuck her off and you know you fucked her off and you know that you're in the wrong yeah you don't I've done that worry. I've done that I think three times I've done it really badly <laughs> First time was a Kate Spade uh, fucking purse. Second time Jesus. was a, a set of new Air Force Ones, and a third time was an Apple Watch because I didn't. <laughs> I didn't turn up to her birthday meal <laughs> this month. Oh, oh, I can <laughs> feel the no pain. money in that the job, man. There's no, no money. Chief in the is job. happy with one of the big blocks of dairy milk for a nut. Oh, I picked that. I, if she's had a shit uh, week, I I'll pick that up. The whole nut, I. I can go for the whole nut. I don't, I don't know, know why, why the thing but I is, can. I don't understand why people put fucking nuts in chocolate to yeah, begin I'm, with. I tell you what, honestly, that. That we don't agree on a lot, what Marlon. Whole nut is, but yeah, just like, plain yeah, plain dairy milk, fantastic. I, yeah, on yeah. it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't mind the odd variation. But yeah, maybe like not, a bit not, crunchy. Not, yeah, yeah, not nah. nuts. Oh, the crunchy, the crunchy ones. Oh, I do like a dairy milk bar. Nah, have you had the one with the bits in it? The big dairy milk bars with the crunchy bits in. Yeah, yeah, I've had that one. Yeah. Oh, that's banging. That Welcome back to banging. Chocolate Review. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> last, year, yeah, last two episodes have been beer, well, now well, we're on uh, chocolate. <laughs> Welcome back to In the Tangent House. I love Lindy, Lindy, the best chocolate comes from Belgium, and they're just as much as the cunts as the French. Oh, <laughs> oh here we go. Uh, to be fair, we go, their man. roads are absolutely fucking terrible, but yeah. they're all right. 
they're not as bad as the French in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> also, I have a little update on the French. Oh, oh, oh shit! Our uh, one French listener has gone. Doesn't listen anymore. <laughs> oh. Is that, is is that, that because all... Brandon hasn't been to France this week? No. Oh, he goes twice a week. Oh no, he sent us a video this week. I actually haven't forgot to reply to him. Sorry, Brandon. Um, and he's just it was. <laughs> he's in a queue of like fucking load of lorries and he was I think he was coming out uh, of cat- two hours three miles something two, like that two Jeez. hours to move three miles I oh, he's fucking froggy you know alright yeah got him <laughs> we get oh, that is a point shout out to Jenkins because he said he was going to get his missus who's over there on a horse thing in France to listen to it to boost your French listenership hey! today. Hey! shout out Jack for that shout, yeah, shout well, out Jenkins <laughs> missus four loco team doing it again yeah. Yeah, well, well, well. The, the well, Vince is going down to Spain so if you get a Spanish listener she's evidently got oh, invested we, we do have on. one Spanish <laughs> listener, so... Well, Jose. Not two. Uh, well, Jose. I love it when real. you say you've got listeners in New Zealand. No, that's just Denny. That's yeah, the yeah, only yeah. person in New Zealand who's listening to you. No, I think we've got 2%, so there must be at least two people. Yeah. <laughs> we've got 1% in that's Australia. you've got 100. That's, He's just got two a family members. Make you feel better. <laughs> anyway, right, let's go around. Yeah. Deneo, <laughs> how's your week been? I was too go- shabby. Finished ploughing, as you, well, by now you should have worked out with farmers. <laughs> so, oh, been flat out since August. Ant stopped, probably had six days off. Wow. Finished ploughing on Tuesday. Can't feel any better for it. <laughs> Sleep is a glorious thing. <laughs> <laughs> you forget what it is. <laughs> There's plenty of time to sleep when you're dead, youngin. Exactly. <laughs> what kind of shifts do you work? Old as dirt. So, we do, it's all seasonal. Really? Right. So during harvest, you're doing, I don't know, 120, 130 hour weeks. Jesus Christ, I'm <laughs> fucking little bitch doing 45 at a minute. Yeah, you can you could push 130 hour week easy if you if you're doing a, if you've got a good weather and you ain't got too much damp in the night. So it's it's it goes without saying. There's no taco in a tractor. Oh, there is no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Say, Just keep running. Right, I don't know if you've night. got any Vosa, li- Vosa uh, listeners, but for fuck's sake, don't bring on the tacos in the tractors because no farming way. will go to shit. Yeah, that's it. You yep. you have to put in the hours when the time's right. We'll yeah. all starve. We, yeah, we, but like I say we've been we started our this. We we co- I'm a contractor, so we started early July. Had a bit of rain at the start. We live in fucking Britain. You can't expect not to have rain. Yeah. <laughs> Ninth of August come along. We had nothing but dry weather, so we just kept fucking going. And I, uh, we finished harvest twenty summit of September. Six weeks ploughing. Get the get the ground sorted up for the next look. New drilling for next year. And it's straight back in, like straight back in. So yeah, since Job on. 9th of August, I, this is my this will be my eighth day off. Wow! <laughs> yeah, I thought I walked our oh, Christ on a bike. That's but some hours, mind. You got to do it. So but it's the same. You don't finish when you're tired. You finish when you're fucking done. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, it's it's acres, a, not hours. I want to meet boy. your boss. <laughs> acres, not hours. It's a lifestyle. Not acres, a job, not hours. Oh, no. mind. Yep. Yeah, we yeah. finish. So I'm a happy bunny. Sounds makes my week look fucking shit. And the missus would be happy. Yeah, it's just see you again. There is that, mind. There is that. Right then, I'm going to go. Hector, yeah. all right. how has your week been? Yeah, not too bad. We're starting to quieten down. I'm a contractor as well. Um, I suppose the diplomatic way of putting it is we spread human waste. Ah, uh, politics. Um, shit. Yeah, spread human, human shit. shit um, go all the way from, I don't know, sort of the middle of the south of Britain all the way down to halfway through Devon, really. Um, so we've been fairly flat out. What well, if you took England as a whole, the bottom bit in the middle, all the way down in the middle of Devon? Oh, uh, yeah, there is that. Yeah, yeah. I'd so just say Wiltshire we cover Devon, a fair. Yeah. I think this summer my tractor's done about eight, nine thousand miles. My tractor miles, yeah. The tractor mine, yeah. My pickup <laughs> was brand new in February, company truck, brand new in February on a 70 plate, and us be clocking 30,000 miles probably Tuesday. Fucking hell. <laughs> So is all your stuff hauled? Low, yeah, low, so low. all well, all of the um, all of the plants we've got, we've got probably 15, 16 lorries that haul it out of plants to fields. Um, if it's wet, digger in the field that we'll go and drive when we're not spreading, and then we stack it back into a nice neat pile. So if anyone's driving around, you see like a looks like a chocolate block on the side of a field. That's treated human shit. Um, is that where so they extract all the 
all the liquid content from it. Yeah, so it comes in, comes into the plants. Of, there are various ones around the southwest. Um, goes into seven different tanks to be so it will like be pumped into one tank and solids go to the bottom and then liquid and then it just separates again and again and again. And then there's a few other processes it goes through, goes into lorries, goes out of the fields, tip it, and then if it's wet, we'll stack it back. So lorries, obviously, you can't travel across a wet field. No. Um, and yeah, get stacked back, and then when the time's right, we'll go and spread it. We've got um, two big muck spreaders on the back of my tractor, and then the other tractor's got a low loader with a digger on the back, and we just go around different farms, different fields every day, spread in human waste. On a good day, we'll probably do 1,800 tonnes on a big day. Good God. That's some weight, mind. That is some weight. Across, we do sort of two seasons. So you've got the spring season um, and then the summer slash autumn season. Um, And across the two, we might do our our sort of two spreaders and two tractors with a digger loading them. We might do 70,000 tonnes, 60,000, 70,000 tonnes a year of shit <laughs> oh, cow. So that's a it, lot you, of shit that's a so, lot of shit so because of where more than we talk because of where we are in the world <laughs> if you were to say what do I do for a living I can quite confidently say I deal with your shit every day <laughs> 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 with question. confidence yeah. weird question um, can that be spread on fields for human uh, that what's being grown is for human consumption or not eh, it can and it can't it depends where you are and what farmers you speak to, because some farmers don't want it on there. Oh, right. Some do. Um, it's a matter of personal preference. and It's not just personal preference. There are limits. Like, it can go on. and whatnot. Yeah. It yeah. all comes down to what people want and, and how really the farmer wants to do it, because a lot of the time they'll they'll have a break crop, and then before they put a big crop in, they'll put some on, but it won't be that year. It'll be the next year that you get the benefit from it. Oh, I see. So you're putting a lot of the nutrients back into the soil like that. Uh, I mean, it's yeah, because it's all, all got to be, be incorporated within 24 hours. Uh, to comply with the law because of the smell. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah literally. literally. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's all got to go in within 24 hours. Um, but so animal we've had, shit, there's no... You do it no, fucking, chicken, what, pig, what? cow. You, pig shit stinks. Yeah, I know that. chicken I mean, I shit stinks worse. Yeah. Chicken is worse. I, I only deal with chicken shit and that stuff's bad enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we had a job. Past soul we, like, <laughs> I'd burn your eyes, that shit. shit. Is, yeah. Yeah. Past soul, you smoke chicken shit. Disrespect so we had a job a yeah, couple of weeks Salisbury. back. Shit one of the farmers we were at, we had like, <laughs> we had 800 tonne of human to do. And he came out and said, uh, you couldn't do a bit of chicken on the side for me, could you? And we're like, yeah, no, we're a couple hundred tonne. It'd be all right. There's like 900 tonne of chicken sat in a field. And that, oh my Christ. It just, it's like smelling acid. It is acid. Just burns it? It, it, your eats, it eats into horrible. everything. Rubber, mm-hmm. plastic, fabric. Oh, so it's got like some like sulfur. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, the whole so high, it's so high in your P&H. So it, your, your, um, acid alkali scale thing. What's the one? <laughs> it just eats into fight. everything you touch. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, Clothes, really skin, that. plastic, yeah. rubber. Yeah. It is staying it's there for a, months. Pig, pig and chicken shit is because they're omnivores, isn't it? Yeah. Bean that's case. what that's and, why uh, That's so why, like, when you've got a pigeon shit on your car, yeah. get, yeah. It yeah. Off. Yeah. get it off. Yeah. 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 Get it off. Yeah, get it off. Burn like hell, doesn't it? Yeah. But, yeah, pig and chicken, um, you don't have to incorporate if you don't want to because some anything. people, including old Dano over there, spread Dano. chicken. They spread chicken in the spring on crops that have already been planted. Right. So they'll go out into fields that have already been drilled and are growing put chicken on to give it that boost to get it ready for harvest. Whereas with ours, we have to do it and it's got to be incorporated. So for us, like with Dano, what you were saying, farmers are all very single-minded people. So you get what well, they are. Because oh, we've yeah. been, we were sat in the yard, bright sunshine, been sunny for a week and we're waiting to go out because all farmers are like, oh yeah, we're combining at the moment so we can't incorporate it so you can't come out so you can sit there and do bugger all. And then all of a sudden you get like 55 phone calls in a day saying, can you come spread our shit please? And you get ones be like, one down right in the West Country and one straight in the bottom, so we're like four hours drive apart in the tractors. Yeah. Uh, that's just, a long day. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. a long day just for driving, let alone spreading a thousand tonnes at each yeah. place. So, a fairly it's big far job. far more complicated than we think it is. Tarmac farming, oh. yo. I was yeah, a lot, you do a lot more tarmac farming tarmac. than actual I reckon, farming. I reckon I've put half my set of tractor tyres up and down the 303 this summer. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not cheap on their own, well, aren't they? Uh, it depends if you buy BKTs. <laughs> depends if you're the one paying for them. <laughs> and that. <laughs> my tractor's on Trelleborg, so they would be... F- Oh yeah, she's 10, she's twelve a set. She's twelve a set. She's, she's Seven ten forty twos on the back mind. Oh yeah, so it should be like twelve she's grand. Top. You'll have you'll have yeah. to help us yeah. out here. So what? Is tra- Trelleborgs are expensive. Yeah. Trelleborgs used Pirelli. to be Pirelli. So in oh. your car tires, tra- it used to be they used to be Pirelli tractor tires, and then they got I bought out or taken over. I don't know. It was before my time. 
um, by Trelleborg. So now Pirelli's are Trelleborgs. Oh, so they're like your top of the range. If you have yeah, I Trelleborgs. would take a Trelleborg because yeah, they ride better on the road I and yeah, I spend all my time time out farming. So I road work is time out farming. I don't know, Did you do a burnout or no? <laughs> yeah. Well, if oh, I got if I got both if I got both spreaders on the back going up any sort of gradient in the wet and I've only got it in two wheel drive, it'll spin up both back wheels. Oh. You can sit there and get smoke off the back tires. You gotta just See, knock it, ease off a throttle, knock her in four wheel drive, and then you can carry on up the hill. <laughs> this is coming from the biggest cowboy in the southwest. <laughs> yeah, but see, you like, home, like. you like trailer bugs on that, but if you go to a fast track, I BKTs. Nah, weirdly. BKTs nah, are the nah, noisiest you things I've ever you have heard. Driven a fast track enough to know BKTs on a new fast track of the way. They yeah. are the They're quietest like, things on the world. British night tires. Like, do you I remember them dodgy shoes, the BKs? <laughs> are they like the same brand or no? I haven't Not got a clue, quite. to be honest, but they're so... I think because they're, they're so soft compared to... Trailer mm. balls are quite hard, yeah, whereas but, BKTs are soft. But then you can get Ling Longs in tractor tires. Yeah, you no get Ling Longs. Way. Genuinely, you can get yeah. Ling Long tractor tires. Triangles. They are horrible Mate, Long's got Ling Longs things. on his massey. Ooh. With what I do, I see some interesting Dairy things come in, but Jesus. Red Steens, they ain't too shabby. <sighs> oh, yeah. No, Verd- and you can get Red Steens on a Fiesta, you mean? so... Aren't they Verd Steins? Red Steins. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Same ah, person. Same Is that a ginger Jew? <laughs> can you get, like... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's him. A Red Stein. <laughs> ah, yes. Love ginger over there. Right, Ed. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Right, Ed. Stano in a 406. What's on? How's a fucking week been, mate? Uh, not too bad. Um, I Unlike these two, I dropped out of contract in... When did I drop out? March? Because you're clever. Hey, yeah. yeah, I decided I fancied a year out because I got a little one who was two in... July. That's the one. Thank you. Cheers for that. <laughs> That's bad. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, she was two in July. And I, kill him. It got out of the point... Yeah, she Fuck is. Her. She wants to already. It got out of the point of... Um, Doing 120 hour odd, odd hour weeks contracting and mowing and bailing and everything else that I just thought I fancy a year out to actually spend some time with my daughter. And so now I work for a dealership, um, washing, valeting, getting stuff ready for export. Yeah, just anything from 50 hour kit to 1970s Fords and Majors. So we, you, oh, nice. We can get everything in that you can stuff ever think of. Stuff demo to stuff that's been beat yeah. the hell out of X by dairy farmers. To, yeah, dairy farmers and cattle boys, and they're the worst boys because they just don't clean their kit. <laughs> Shoot, <laughs> shoes in the cab, like. Exactly. Oh, oh we can't no. be doing with that. Yeah, this no, boy over here with his quilted carpet, Martin. 200 pound leatherette carpet, best thing I've ever bought. Leatherette. Boots, <laughs> leatherette. Off, boots off at the door, it's got a Confederate flag in the middle, drive it like you stole around it, like. <laughs> Some boys. Best 200 quid I've ever spent. It, yeah. it is quite smart, your carpet, but yeah, like, no. With tra- it's the same, and I imagine you've had these conversations with Snaker and all the other lorry boys you've had on, but it's yeah. it's not just a tractor cab. It's, yeah. That's my office that's for your home. 10, yeah. 12, 15 hours a day sometimes. So I want it to be dust-free and clean, and I don't want to have my shoes on all day. No, I understand it's, that, yeah. It's a bit, it's just crap if you've got to sit there with a muddy floor and every yeah. time you put the heating on when it's cold and it blows on the floor, you get dust coming up everywhere. So it's yeah. just nice to keep it dust free and clean. It's like your living room. It's your work, yeah. it's your work yeah. environment. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I spend yeah, I mean, more time in my tractor cab than I do in my bedroom when we're out tractor driving all the time. Yeah. Same as him. I oh, imagine. yeah. Mine, yeah. Mine's spotless all yeah. year long. Yeah. That was the same with my bedroom. The thing is, jobs. if you looked at it as a car and not a tractor and you said, right, I've just gone out and spent 100 grand on a new car and a rest. Whatever, man. Yeah, whatever. You're not going to let it go to shit, are you? No. No. Not if you care about it, no. no. You look no. after, even even like, well, with who I used to work for, it wasn't my kit. I didn't pay for it, but no. you looked after it. I had carpet. I took my boots off if I was sat in there because, you, Every day. like you say, you're spending 18 to 20 yeah. hours a day in there. It's your kitchen. Mm. It's your yeah, sitting room. It's everything. It's your office. You take your boots off at the door. You put your feet up yeah. and you just it's hit the auto steer still button got the, and go. Obviously, when like, <laughs> the drivers get to their top step... Yeah, they can leave the boots on the side. No, no, that's the only that's, issue we've we don't got. have a door right, that covers okay. the steplet, so if no. you leave them on there, they they disappear. Usually, what I used to do, you turn around on the top step, hook your bo- bo- backs of your boots on the top step, and then you just drop them at the, inside the door, and there you are, straight right. into the seat, mind. Mm. I've got like with my leverette, it covers the whole <laughs> width of the cab, which is not quite as wide as a lorry cab, and obviously in the tractor you sit in the middle, and then I've just got a bit of rubber mat that fits round all the. All That's where edges. you put your... Yeah, take your yeah. shoes off on that and then you leave your boots on that right? and then don't have any heat and vents pointing at it because if the mud dries, then it goes to dust and then it goes everywhere. Mm. So, so you, Especially with what you do, the stuff on your boots is shit. I Whereas I did it most yeah, mine was always mud and stuff like that, which was bad enough, but... 
yeah, actual real you, shit. Yeah, 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 it is actual. You, shit. There is literally a science to this. Mm. Yeah, you look but after the stuff. I mean, it, mine was mine was polished. Mine was waxed. My yeah, my old femme was same. fucking immaculate mm. because I've, I looked after it and I've, I put three thousand hours on it in two years or whatever it was. It was yeah. You spend all day in it. I've you, got a can of foam cleaner. I've got a can of polish, and I've got a detailing brush and a couple of microfiber sat in that can all the time. Let's put it this way: pristine. Auto smart, love us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the easiest way to put it. I'm more of a chrome man myself. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, yeah. I've gone off of their stuff. Unless a bit, you buy it online, I don't fancy driving down the old uh, A303 to fucking um, <laughs> out of Mongolia. Fleet like. services to go and pick up some chrome. <laughs> <laughs> chrome, by the way, is another cleaning product. Supplier, let's put it that way. Shout out. I think we're going to be dispelling some myths on this podcast because a lot of lorry driving. I think I think there's a lot of similarities between lorry driving and, oh, and obviously oh, yeah, yeah. tractor driving. We respect but, each other. That's but, the main but at the same yeah. time, I expect a lot a lot of lorry drivers out there think you're all dungers and you're all smelly bastards and uh, you get no, shit. No, I've in. never you, had it, it, a problem with lorry drivers and farmers. I you, do. It's, no, but, it's almost uh, so close okay. that lorry drivers and farmers are almost on par. Yeah, they're almost no, like it, just as much he, shit like, from 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 public. You get just yeah. as much oh, hassle. Yeah, but, but I think yeah, well, you see, see that. You, if, you, if I go down the road in my tractor and I see someone coming down the road giving it the big yeah you, <laughs> lit to fuck with fucking beacons and lights, I will give them a tang and they yeah. will flash their lights back. Yeah, and but I will then, do it every time. It's yeah. funny the ones who and obviously I spend a lot of time going up and down a three hundred three, most of which is dual carriageway, wearing your tires out, <laughs> pretty That's much, the one. <laughs> but. You know when lorries overtake each other, they flash each other in? Yeah. I do that in my tractor all the time, just because right. it's fun. Like, yeah. There's no need to, because the, the speed differential is big enough that they don't need to worry about it, but it's just nice and it's fun. But all the lorries who are fairly evidently owner drivers, so the scan is all the light boards in, and the ones that are cared for, they will always flash your indicators back yeah. afterwards. The ones are like, I'm not naming names, Tesco's but an example, back. Tesco's, yeah, Waitrose, Gregory's, the ones who are there to just like bum on a seat, the screwdriver rather than operator, never oh. do it. It's true yeah. though. Yeah. Because the, the yeah. ones, the owner drivers will always leave an extra foot before they pull in. Or if you're coming yeah. uh, coming towards one, one in his scanny that he spent like 300 quid in his mirror guards, he'll stop and let you manoeuvre to get out of the way so you can pass each other safely. Yeah. Gregory's are just hammered and keep going. Yeah, um, they didn't give a fuck. No, nah. they well, really don't because it's not theirs. Yeah. But, but I think getting back to what Red said originally, it's it's very much the same in farming. Your contractors are your owner drivers, your wains, your snaker. The boys that look after their kit are contractors mainly. Yeah. You get to the yeah. arable farms that have harvest students in, your dairy yeah, yeah. boys, Ass- your Ass- pig Ass- boys. Seat over harvest, They're like, the ones yeah. that are your fleet specs, sit in a seat and not care. Yeah, boots on, window open, air yeah. con on. Oh, it does my sweet. Yeah. Oh. Air con on, window open. No. no. Yeah, yeah oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 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 window, sunroof, uh, air con flat out. In a field oh. with dust everywhere, yeah. Problem but is, at my place. The retardation. Mm-hmm. I've yeah. got the oldest tractor at my place where I am now. And that obviously gets used for all the real nitty gritty jobs that they the don't want. To, they don't, they don't, the things they don't want to beat the new stuff around. And so mine's yeah. going to go on a hedge cutter in the next couple of weeks. And I know for a fact when I get that back, it is going to be hanging. Mm. I mean, I've I've had a chat sort of with the blokes who work there. Most of them all right. We know the one. But I know for a fact when I get that back off hedge cutting in late January, it is going to be hanging to fuck. There's going to be shit everywhere. The back fucking quarter is going to be covered in dust. Yeah. Me spools are going to be greased to fuck. Yeah. And it but, winds but me the fuck up. That's the thing. You get that. Because, like, especially with what we used to do when I was contracting in the docks, is you were doing 24-hour shifts. So you'd have two shifts a day and a night shift, and they'd do 12 hours each. So you could look after your tractor all day long, take your boots off, yeah. do that. You Next let some in. fucker in there in the day, and it'd be Give filthy. Yeah. And yeah. you're just like... Does your nutting. Why? <laughs> really why? does your nutting. And I mean, and the- all of the boys that you worked with, all the... Like that were there permanently. Were, they knew that that was your tractor, and you yeah. don't fuck with it. Yeah. But yeah, you get those boys that come in just to do that bum on a seat in the daytime. And the, yeah. the best one who shall remain nameless. <laughs> he only we'll did call days. Him cunty bollocks. Yeah, we'll call him old cunty bollocks. Old oh, cunty bollocks. I know the one you mean yeah. from a banana mind. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <clears throat> he, um, I'll show bananas. you that video later. We were doing like nights and days. I was on nights. He was on nights, and then old cunty banana bollocks was on days, and. He would leave it in a shit state every evening. The windows would be filthy. The floor would be dusty as fuck. Seat would be covered in crap. There'd be crisp crumbs everywhere. It just looked like a four-year-old had been in a bakery and just thrown everything about. (laughs) It was disgusting. So I would spend a good six of the 12 hours cleaning it out. Just like every load. Every time the tractor stops, I'd have a cloth and a bit of cleaning product. Just either sweeping the floor or just clean everything. So there's no dust. And then we used to stop for a break about two, three in the morning. 
and I'd get out and do all of the windows. So side window, back window, front window, everything would be immaculate. And then you yeah. could just dust them off when you finished. And one day I really couldn't be bothered because I hadn't had a chance to have a break halfway through. So I'd just done the entire 12 hours straight. And uh, first thing he said when he turned up was, I didn't clean my fucking windows then. Oh, yeah. When have you cleaned yeah, them when you yeah. finished? You and he took that proper umbrage to the fact that I hadn't cleaned the windows for him, but he never did it for me. Is I'll that go. is that the sort of... Um... He was dairy spec to fuck. <laughs> he was, Jay. He'd come off the dairy spec. He'd finish milking at fucking six o'clock in the morning, drive into the docks, and he'd yeah. sit yeah. in there all day. I've got one he of them. He was genuine dairy spec. What are them really crap wellies that have got a name across the front? Dunlop. Yeah. Dunlop. 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 Turn up with a blue dickies, the Dunlops smelling like well you know what and <laughs> uh yeah just complain about everything do you mean dunlops or do you mean eagles no dunlops okay, dunlops just checking eagles, like are, the eagles are sort of middle class direct spec yeah, yeah that's the that's, that's the, the one <laughs> that's the one oh, yeah, he was an worse. absolute creature i've got a bloke like that he will i i i there's two of us on my yard we're both the same age and we're the only ones who meticulously clean our cabs look after out your shit, like. and look them out there's another five blokes there in fair play they'll keep them sensibly clean but nothing like me and this other lad do Can I don't fancy getting a disciplinary <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to a disciplinary because I feel like if I've done I just if I haven't done anything wrong then I'll take a disciplinary and I'll stand there and defend myself and I don't think I've ever done anything wrong you it's love just, a DCM <laughs> don't come Monday <laughs> I've had about 12 don't come Monday yeah, that's the one <laughs> but yeah <laughs> It's weird, and it, it, it's the same, it seems to be the same in lorry driving as the it, the whole just don't come in Monday. Mm. There's none of this, oh, you know, we need to have a written thing and then two verbal things. Yeah. It's literally don't come in Monday, clear yeah. your cab out. Yeah. yeah. And as I, farming, it's... Uh, people you, just respect... I think, I yeah. think even though you're getting the sack, you cut a lot of people, I've never heard of anyone in either industry taking it up with, uh, you know, the what is it? the well, like um, a union or something. Yeah, or some, tri- union. some sort of tribunal. Yeah. Box, we have a union? Yeah, but... We have a- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. It's called the NFU, don't it? No fucking use. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the NFU, mine. I'm a short yeah, I, I, get, I get what you mean, though. But then it's sort of a respect thing. Like, if you have done something wrong... And you oh, you admit to it, don't you? you yeah, but if you up. haven't actually done anything, oh no, you you say you say really broken. Yourself. Yeah, fuck them. Yeah, but I can see the other side of it. Like if you're in an office and you get the written warning, verbal warnings, all that bollocks. What have you broken in an office? Desk chair, keyboard, exactly. fifty quid, hundred quid. Secretary. If you're in a trap though, and someone sees you do, that's Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday, isn't it? Where's wow. Dom? Um, <laughs> 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 the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> but if you do something stupid in either industry, like I don't know how much a new lorry costs, but I know my tractor was north of 150. Oh, yeah. 150,000. So if you've like, if someone's seen you do that and they write in a complaint and you get the sack yeah. for it, it's sort understandable. Of, yeah. Yeah, you let oh, it go. Yeah. yeah, you just be like, yeah, fair play. I, 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 was, uh, I was doing <laughs> I, that a I bit fu- wrong. I fucked up. <laughs> I done fucked up. <laughs> 50 shades of sideways on a Monday morning. Like, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> but getting back to the original question, my week was all right. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry about that. That's very true. <laughs> Carry on. on. Sorry, Stanley. We <laughs> love a tangent. There you go. Hold on. How's your week been? Oh, thanks for asking. <laughs> well, better late than right. never, um, yeah, fucking busy. We're absolutely fucking stacked at the minute. I think we're booking like three weeks in advance just because we specialise in Land Rovers. Can I book in now for my transfer box? I was going to say, is that just Reg booking in or is there other people as well? Uh, there are actually other people booking in. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really weird. Like other people own Land Rovers. I've already you, told you them you if I don't get invited away. on the Christmas deal, I'm going to be very unhappy. <laughs> 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 you funded the bloody Christmas deal. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, he funded more the 52 fucking... inch plasma on the wall. <laughs> Oh, um, no, I wouldn't hang that on the wall, mind. <laughs> it pulled a fucking plasterboard right out. <laughs> was that made by Land Rover? No. Did uh, you do that? Gypsum, I think. Um, no, yeah. the thing from the docks. I got, anyway. um, got the my bedroom nearly done. So I got a couple more consoles come in, which you'll find out in the future. Shout out to Carver for tagging me in something earlier. Oh, um, another bid? Just something. I'm not, I'm not saying something. nothing. Um, and then refinish the banister. Still haven't cut in downstairs. And carpet man's come in next Friday. I, what are the listeners going to do, Marlon, when you finish doing up your house? Uh, d- yeah, I, the thing You'll is, start doing yours. I are we fine? I haven't <laughs> finished our project properly. Yeah, you say that now. You wait until Doll steps in. Oh, we painted one room, and that was it for me. I'm fucking done. So it for you. Not, you not when put, she steps what do you in. Do? You just when put she a couple of rookies on a rattle can. Come on, Marlon. Tell me what what consoles you've been on. Stop, stop. 
you're like Kim Wilder, keep me hanging on. Um, obviously, need a Super Nintendo. Obviously. Yes. Oh, if you're going to go for the full retro setup, I think a Super Nintendo is a staple. Is it, it needs to be oh, a oh, centerpiece. Yeah. Uh, maybe a side piece. I side no piece. Oh, like, you got an ear down, like your little, little most... mama <laughs> Yeah, you know it. You know. Yeah, it. I know. <laughs> One of those. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know what you're fucking Because saying. obviously, like my main childhood was PS2. Yeah, I know. It was only saying. early Everywhere. on we had like N sixty four, uh Mega Drive. Are you gonna and get SNES? So you, you you are you gonna have the original Xbox, the real big booty Latina there? Um I've been thinking I don't know. I think I should. Yeah, I think you should. Um but obviously Dreamcast? No, I've I, I never had I a hated Dreamcast. Dreamcast. What about GameCube? I, got I hated confusing. the GameCube. I thought that was the cunt and things you hung from the ceiling that That's was a, all patterned. That's Dreamcatcher. I got it wrong. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> That's a, the, anyway, yeah, the blue haired fucks. You yeah, know, the, That's the, one. the ones. It's been, been a while since you talked about that. Yeah, the ones that sat on the M25 like insulate Britain. Oh how'd fuck you like, them! How'd you like my Range Rover grill, motherfuckers? <laughs> I, I don't have to hit the M25. I don't give a fuck. But if I do, I'm dragging them off the road. Yeah. <laughs> I like how people have been standing up for that. Like they're blocking in like ambulances and shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got no that time for that. Wrong. Thing is, I was watching that interview with that bloke on uh, one of the BBC channels, and he's like, "So, if you interview insulated your house, and he's like, no." <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and you're well, like, like, on, on vegetables. Yes. You're, you're protesting about insulating, and you've not insulated yeah. your <laughs> own home. <laughs> and uh, one of the there was a bird literally doing take the demonstration, care of your own house. <laughs> and it turned out. Her partner was a chief transport big dick for some company. What? <laughs> Glass oh. divorce on the cards, if ever I did see it. Or a beheading. Yeah. That's like saying you got a huntsman that's married to a fucking huntsman. It is. Yeah, that, that would be an interesting moment. That would be an interesting moment. Shout Straight out down the empty mind. football stadium, stoner to death. That's it. <laughs> so, yeah, my, my week's been all right. Um... Nothing we, really interesting to report. Should we skim in? Right we've, had, we've had fucking boring weeks and these boys have had a whale of a time. So, right, let's fucking get into it. Let's be quick fire because I've realised we're only 37 minutes in. Um, right, guest questions. Let's go. Oh, Dano. Go to, go to drink. Thatchers. You've literally drank. Gold or anything, haze. You've literally drank anything we've put in front of you tonight. So I, I'm surprised <laughs> at that. I will take. I'll take a good scrumpy. To be fair, but oh, you're a real farmer. Over there somewhere I will for, take yeah. a scrumpy any day of the week. But trying to find a good scrumpy, except for Old Rosie, and mind you, that is hard going on some days. Yeah, snorkel it. We should have brought. We should have brought the bloody um, bit of Wilkies up for the boys. Oh no, that is lying clean. Scrumpy or Doombar. We've been Doom trying all week to convince him to snorkel that bottle of Old Rosie. We brought you. Yeah. I love an ale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Marlon, we need to redo the fucking Don't fuck rooms. about with no extra flavouring in the nail. Just a nice standard strong ale and uncanned. Uncanned? <laughs> un un he's grand. I know he's grand. He's a can of bottle or a pint as long as he's <laughs> fucked about with no fucking going chocolate on 50 flavoring. drinking ale. <laughs> yeah. He likes it, his beer with six bits. Six X yeah. can fuck off. Nate the Lord down there. goes Wadworth. Shout out Wadworth Brewery. The boys as well. It's that's, local. That's another one you ain't getting a fucking dealership off. <laughs> Shock. Oh, right, let's go. Stano, uh, um, go to drink. Stouffer Press, mm. if they've got it. Fuck me, you're a man after me. Mother's own like, heart. The pair one. No, no, it's just standard. Standard, just standard, just standard, yeah. standard stuff of press. Standard. That is, have you ever had that? It's really good. It is, it is, a, it is a Thatcher's I'm rival. A and a, I'm not a cider a, man. Unless rival, it's brothers it's and full of sugar, I'm not drinking cider. Oh, Jesus. Stouffer's no. better than Thatcher's. Oh, 100%. Well, we'll, oh, yeah. we'll, we'll nice hot day, that. pint of Stouffer, dash yeah, of blackcurrant, yeah. and then yeah. head away. Yeah. Nice yeah. hot day, Strawberry Brothers. Get on you. You just sweet shit. Right, H, yours? Dark fruit. Oh. I've been to too many young farmers parties to say otherwise. Pint the darkie. Oh, you yeah, wake up in the morning, seven o'clock, brush your teeth for the darkie, and get out on all that. Allegedly, I've had a bright little rabbit. Dark fruit, set a wife. Said he'd rather have a dark fruit. Rather have a dark fruit. Rather have a dark fruit, set a wife. So, is this a new. Are we going to do like a little song every episode now? All right, I'm sorry. I'll do the rap and bog after the rap and bog. You get it right this time. You missed out so much. I was going to do Grease Lightning next episode. Oh, go on. Right, so. Oh, it's Daneo. Yeah, this is a tune through the headphones. Favourite night in or out? Favourite night in. I've never had a favourite night in because if I'm what? in, I ain't doing No, fuck no I, I worded that terribly. Um, well done, Marlon. Preferred night? Is that the right term? Preferred night. What's your what? favourite night? Preferred night in or not? Wait a minute. 
It, uh, you, what was your favourite night in or out? It doesn't matter. What, what you prefer? Obviously, you not said, obviously. Like so it's not favourite, is it? It's um, most preferred night most in preferred, or out. Yeah. Depends how I'm feeling. To be honest, <laughs> if if I've had a shit of a week, I want to go home. I want to sit in bed, put on Netflix, and just write angry in, Twitters at right? Doom Bar. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's six six. six, 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 six. Yeah, <laughs> fuck them cunts. <laughs> angry he is <laughs> it's shit. he it's... really doesn't like six eight. oh it's no I had good. a dangerous night on it I can't sniff the stuff without putting it under it I crack um, a can no out. if I've had a shit of a week I just want to go home sit and chill out as bad as it sounds when you're a farmer you spend all day by myself by yourself but you've always got your phone or your radio or something every so often it's nice just to turn everything off and yeah. just chill out yeah but if I want to pick an up, I'm going out, and I'm going out, out. Out, and I, out, out, out. I don't give a fuck whether I'm going out or out, out. I'm getting a hit lit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. I'll we've been drink for till a I can't stand. Night. <laughs> Just, uh, Dan, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go for a quiet one down a local? Yeah, all right then. Seven points of ale later. Like last He's last standing last on the table. Thursday, H and yeah. his missus is one point deep. I'm seven and still going. <laughs> We're just ever a quiet one, and he's knocking about like water. <laughs> Super cider Sunday. There ain't nothing that's that beats so it. One. A lot of Sunday sesh is like that's oh, peak yeah. sesh. Oh, Sunday, yeah. Sunday sesh oh, yeah. is a lovely. Sunday one. sesh, and you, especially they, after a Saturday sesh. Yeah, and the best part is you know you've got work tomorrow, but you just don't care. Yeah, no, yeah, you, you get too deep, ship. and you're like, after yeah, about I'm on four it now. points, you're like, fuck them. Well, I, I just... say recently we've been in so many hours work, we don't get a Friday off or a Saturday off. But me and him have been to the same pub. Well, until the last two weeks, we took we, yeah. we did old double date life the old last week with the old. <laughs> but Daniel, you can eat the old birds. birds. The old, the old, all old you can birds. Eat. But before yeah. that, we'd gone to the same pub on a Saturday night for a couple of pints, put the rights away for the week, and we'd done that. I don't know, two months on the run. Yeah, eight nine weeks definitely. Yeah, easy. It was just nice to unwind and get. Because you're busy with your missus. Yeah, non com spec anymore, mate. Sorry, <sighs> deleted. It was just it's just nice, isn't it? And the pub we chose was sort of equal distance between him, yeah. me and my missus and we'd all just meet there have a quiet one or two maybe some chips or pork scratchings and then just chat and make yeah. sure that each other's alright and we're all getting on okay and no matter how bad your week's been that you're alright and you can keep going for the yeah. next week like yeah, yeah, like you say if you're spending 12 hours a day on your own no you've got oh, the phone yeah. and that there but there's nothing that compares to no. human contact oh, is there no, really no, no, and meet up with the boys for a drink like yeah. yeah you spend all week sat in that cab behind the steering wheel <laughs> And it's like you just wind in the spring up, wind it up, and you got to unwind it at some yeah. point. Whether oh, yeah. you get completely lit like him over there, or whether you just sit there and have a chilled night and chat, and, and let it all go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's You've a really got good way of looking it. at it. I never really thought about that unwind the spring because well, you don't unwind it when you're asleep because you're not awake. No, to know you're, not. That you're unwinding it. Yeah. yeah. So if you're doing what him and me are doing, you get up in the morning, immediately wake up, clothes on, grab your lunchbox, out the door, get to work in the tractor, drive all day, drive Take home, off shower, get in the bed. Tractor. Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> and then you get home, go to bed, wake up, do the same thing again. It's just that, yeah. six days, seven days a week on repeat. So when you get the chance to unwind and just let it out... Even minute, if it's half just, an hour. Yeah. Well, like last Thursday when we went to the pub with a mate we haven't seen for ages, there's a, just for a couple, and then me yeah. and him both ended up oh, throwing we, we up because we were doing mini Guinnesses and oh, we ended up <laughs> slow <laughs> gin shots. But yeah, <laughs> long or short, preferred night out, night out, quiet or not... <laughs> Well, you make it loud. <laughs> you you answered that yeah. question really well. <laughs> so basically, you're keen in any circumstances. Oh, yeah, I will lit that party up. Honestly, 6 o'clock in the morning, crack a can, keen. Oh, yeah. He is chopped, like, just a bit smaller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and more orange. Right. <laughs> Kinger? Um, I'm very much Dorset born, Dorset bred. And my... Strong in the arm, thick in the head. That's the one. That's yeah, the one. I know the ones. Mine comes from um, Great Dorset Steam Fair. That is GDSF. My, that is oh, my... I love a Dorset Steam I Fair. I have never Ooh. missed one since I was born. Same. I've worked every fucking one since I've been old enough. And, yeah, just going up there every day when it's 28-odd degrees, you're the smell. sweating your absolute tits off after being on a steam engine all morning. Yeah. And you just crack a can of Stouford, or crack a pint of Stouford and a pasty at lunchtime and that... Yeah, that hits. And then you go out at night. You got the Wurzels. You got all the showman's engines lit up. That is my perfect night. That is proper yeah, yeah, in a field. Fair. Yeah, caravans rocking. Don't come knocking. That's the answer to it. See? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. <laughs> I would take it. I'm 10. not saying nothing, but he broke a caravan one year. <laughs> I did broke a caravan like three years ago, but we'll forget about it. Axle or no? No, no, no. Oh, no I, split, I, I like above sides. the door. It was just a split going from above the door all the way over the other side. Is that from banging? Yeah. 
Hundred percent. Wow. No comment. Wow. That's fucking commitment. Wow. Weird question. Wait, we're getting on. Do you again. remember the cider barn that had the raccoon at Great Dorset Steam Fair? Barn that had the raccoon. No, it's a cider tent. A little green tent. Yeah, they had, yeah, yeah, it had yeah, a raccoon. Yeah. I it, don't remember the raccoon, but the little green tent. I still swear there. it was a raccoon. Yeah. It was some little weird little non-native oh, fucking, creature. That's Dorset. Everything in Dorset is non-native weird little creature. I used to love but Great Dorset Steam <laughs> Fair. It's, you'll have to come up because it, it's. It's bred into me. It's um. We'll get onto it later. I expect with other things, but bread. that's the one. But it's family, and it's it's me old man. What I do up there is load pole carriages with timber with steam engines. Oh yeah. So I we'll know. winch timber on and off the steam engines in the big heavy haulage ring. Can I come and, and help? More than welcome. That I'd be honest. Fun. Genuinely, I get hard. Genuinely, on. if you come up there, you run around on the top of logs that are stacked like four high on top of a pole trailer that Love are winched that. on there with a steam engine. It's the most satisfying thing. And the smell. This the oh, smell honestly, always gets me. When I went to Bath and West of, well, whenever it was, the little one they had in a while back, I hadn't smelt steam engines for two years because of all oh, the yeah. shite that's gone on. And I walked in there and I was like, Yeah. That's the that's, one. That's yeah. the smell. That's I the walk smell. down the road and someone's got a coal fire burning. I'm like, oh yeah. yeah. It's just oh, that smell of coal. <laughs> He's sucking on the chimney. Oh, mama, mama, honestly. Please. But yeah, that is and I'm still the yeah. only one stupid enough to try and build one. Yeah, he's trying to build yeah. a steam engine over I'm there. building a steam engine. <laughs> you know you get mail order... Like, you know you get the magazines you subscribe <laughs> yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Like Where are we week. going with this? Now, you get, like, the magazines and you're, like, 50p a week and you get a part yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's found one of them that. for a steam engine. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what kind of scale? Like, one four? Six, I'm four, I'm four inch six, scale. Four inch. So she's six inch long. That's what she said. It's a barrel <laughs> four inch road locomotive. That's that easy. Absolutely is. fuck all these. The look is. Con- I just no. want to interject. The look of confusion uh, yeah, yeah. on my you know face is common. Oh. I'm kind of. I'm trying to get it. My old man was into like model railways. So she's the one yeah, with the old railway. belly, belly water tank. Big that still wheels. Means nothing to him. Big wheels. Uh, I, high yeah. speeds. High pulling weights. I'd really like um, a one full scale traction engine, but Chief yeah. says I can't put it in the garden. I do what I'm doing. Steam Traction World. Shout out Steam Traction World. You were probably never going to listen to this, but they're absolutely amazing. I have nothing. I have nothing but good words to say about them. I'll have a little look. I will definitely. They are have a brilliant. Look. They Your do. Bank balance says otherwise. Oh yeah. yeah, my bank balance says hell no. But oh, yeah. I'm, I'm so sending she home. <laughs> that shit. Hell no. I'm so all How in on 21 grand. She's a six inch version of that, isn't she? Because that's a barrel road loco. That's a size. barrel road loco. So I'm, f- I'm a six, six inch version yeah, of that. Four yeah. inch. Six four inch. Oh inch wow. Yeah. Oh Christ. That's a full size one, but yeah. I'd Three quarters th- of a ton, six foot long, pull five ton. Yeah. yeah. Beast. So it might and take me I an trailer. It's going to yeah. take me three years to build it, and I cannot fucking wait. Well, if you need a hand, mate, dog out oh, is going to pop down. Oh, the fuck down. Have you got a welder? Because this is broken. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's broken. <laughs> the fuck up. Yeah. SOP, go the fuck yourself. Think I'm posh welder, I'm Meg or Tig. Oh, posh welder. See, when you yeah. have your sticks up. I'll tell you up, what, we'll make a deal. Shove your sticks up your ass. You come down my, give me a hand with the steam engine, bring your TIG welder with you, and you can teach me how to TIG, because I've always wanted to know. I haven't got the patience to be fine. teach anyone. Don't worry about that. Big dick's well. Is, I can MIG, I can arc, I can braze, can make, I can you're gas like weld, there. You but just... I have never touched a TIG, and I really want to. Yeah. My, my, my welder will do TIG, but only AC, so I can't do uh, alley. Yeah, snap. I, I, there's no point in... No, if you're going to do TIG, you want to get the ACDC, yeah. spend a thousand. Yeah, pounds highway to hell, hell like. There's no one. point in us <laughs> DC TIG in Love Alley because we're too <laughs> dirty. Yeah. Just stick to stainless. Anyway, the quick fire's gone to shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really well. that's mine. Right. Hey. <laughs> My, I like the nights out that start really quiet and it's just going to be a quiet, quick one down a pub and then go home and then you end up at three o'clock in the morning in someone's kitchen. That's or yes. the yes. a yes. pub or yeah. a pub wherever se- that is doesn't matter like where you end the up sesh. the yeah. spontaneous piss ups are the best yeah. if, yeah. You, if the you're ones... anticipating it it's never what you think it's going to be yeah. Yeah. No. the ones that you plan are never as good as the ones that, yeah I'll just sneak around for a quick one and yeah. you end down the literally it's not too bad so far um, <laughs> you don't have to say nobody's got a gun to your head <laughs> There's one above a bar. Yeah. Uh, she's decommissioned. She's, she's, de- she's deactivated. A uh, big house. Apparently. Works. <laughs> Allegedly properly, or... Uh, <laughs> has she got the world bead in the barrel, like? Uh, right, so no next more. question. Yeah, <laughs> <going on. laughs> anyway. Say no more. Say no more. Most mental thing to happen on a night out. Ah, uh, well. Oh, here we go. <laughs> me, and, so. me and Denzel. Me and Denzel. Me and Denzel. Denzel. So... <laughs> Well, I've been was... contemplating this one for a while because I want your whether to say it or not. 
no. So it's my mate's 18th. He's hired out of Village Hall for his 18th. I've turned up a bit late. I've walked into this kitchen in this place and he's he greeted me with a bottle of Jaeger and not a small one. I'm talking three quarters, of, uh, three quarters of a litre bottle, like the medium rage one. Yeah, I know the one. Uh, and he says, get that down yeah. And I think, I'm not one to back away from a challenge. What? You've done so the I, took, whole... I sent she home. <laughs> I, I sent she home. Yeah, this is the same man who was chatting up a bird and then walked into a party down a bottle of vodka and left. That's the one. <laughs> That's also a funny night. I'll tell you about that later. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, we, I start the night pretty fucking keen. Like, um, we're having a bit of a laugh. We're getting pissed. DJ's keeping it fairly lit. He's playing the old fucking uh, primary school disco classics, your Macarena jobs. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. know the ones. We know the Anyway, ones. sort of like 12 o'clock comes down. I think, oh, I ain't feeling too grand. You know, I've done a bit. <laughs> I'm going to go out and have a bit of tactical chunder. Like, I'm usually pretty good at them. I can hang ta- of tactical chunder. I can, I can TC pretty much any old place, any old time, and I can come back within five minutes and I'll keep going. On command. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, but that Jaeger hits different. <laughs> oh, man. it hits different. Costa. I headed out, went round the back of this village hall, like, I'll wake up about two hours later. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't even know where I was at this point. I was sat in front of an oil drum. <laughs> <laughs> or like, I thought, Christ. The 205s? I'm thinking... 205 oil drums? Liter. 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 Oh, big oh, bastard. Big bastard, yeah, yeah. Full on, heating, heating the whole hall up like John. Oh. For oh. some reason, I took that as my place as pop a squat. Anyway, so I wakes up thinking, ah, <laughs> do you have a shit there? <laughs> She's been about five minutes, like, I'll get back in and carry on. I sort of come back around the corner and there's people outside, there's taxis turning up, and I think, what's going on here then? Well, it turns out it had been about two hours. Man's had a nap. And I, did, I didn't even fucking realise. <laughs> so I come around the corner, me, me, uh, me mate's punched his dad in the face because he's trying to put him in a taxi. <laughs> It's getting pretty, it's getting fairly keen. So we, it's almost so, like uh, punching and level. Yeah, oh, it's punching and level. Oh. If there was four locos there, it would have under, it would have made sense of things. Like, you would have full spec. Like, what's going on here? Then? Oh, big time, big time. So, uh, <laughs> mate goes to me. All right, we're walking home. And I'm like, yeah, no worries. Drive. Oh, we'll, we'll crack on. And it, it was only <laughs> quarter of a mile from this hall to his house, and we was all staying at his house. There was probably twenty of us. Um, well, I got halfway home. And uh, I had completely lost sense of what was going on in the world. And my mates convinced me I was walking home from London. <laughs> we were in Newbury. <laughs> and I said, it can't be fucking London. There isn't any hedges in London. It's full of <laughs> shitting cock buildings. <laughs> and he said, no, I'll prove this, hedges, and push me in one. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so that happened. <laughs> and he proceeded to tell me that he'd scrapped my car because I asked why we're we not driving home. He told me he'd scrapped my car. I got emotional because the only thing I cared about in that car was my sub. <laughs> oh, yeah. So and he said, it's all right. Year old, the fuck? He said, it's all right. I've taken the sub out. And I said, ah, that's all right then, drive. We'll carry on. <laughs> so um, now the interesting part happens. So we get back to my mate's house. Uh, everyone sort of vacates to the sofas and the air beds and the sleeping bags. I got on really well with the bloke. I was like sort of best mates with the bloke I was staying at. So I had the spare room with the old fold out sofa bed like. Went to sleep pretty much instantly. I know. Woke up at about four o'clock. And instead of laying the normal way you do on a bed, I was laying horizontally at the end of the bed. And I thought, how the <laughs> fuck did I end up here? Because I don't remember waking up. I don't remember moving. I don't remember shit. But I woke up. But what made it worse was the bed <laughs> was fucking soaking. Oh, no. And I thought, I've pissed the bed. So I thought, ah, check me boxers. If they're wet, I've pissed myself. I'll accept it. So I fucking put my hand down. I thought, ah, she bone dry. We're good drive. <laughs> I thought well, someone, me, shag. someone, someone just spilled a glass of water like. So, um, carried on fucking moving myself back up normal place in the bed. Oh, I was with my missus as well at the time. Oh. Um, moved back up into bed, woke up again at about my half seven, eight o'clock in the morning. The water had risen up the duvet by this point. Oh. And I'm thinking, of course, a bit damp up here like. Because I've drunken so much piss, everything I did piss smelt like water. Um, what turned out is I woke up at about three o'clock in the morning, went to go to the toilet, didn't realise where the toilet was, turned piss around and pissed her. on my missus. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, uh, just got back into bed and went to sleep. 
and she shit. deserves it. Story is just the gift that just keeps on giving. <laughs> <laughs> just when you think it's wrapping up. Oh no! Oh no! We got another curveball. Oh, no, Why don't we let him go first? Yeah, so that was probably there. Yeah, that that's up there. That's the one. <laughs> Wait, Jesus Stano. Christ. I don't quite know why we let him go first. Um, I don't see. Whenever I've gone out, out problem is I don't get pissed. I end up babysitting. That's uh, my thing. I'm the sensible uh, one. Oh yeah, you're the dad as, of the group. Like same as me. And he's Prague. the Desi driver. Yeah, yeah. Uh, questionable driving's yeah. the questionable part. But yeah, you are questionable at driving. <laughs> but yeah, there is that. Um, but see, I don't know. The best things I can remember is like I wasn't even properly hammered. But I remember once I when I was back when I was gamekeeper and we used to have a beaters do at the end of every season or what have you. And um, we were in this pub and it was closed down for this thing and there was a house party going on across the road from this proper rural in the middle of batshit nowhere pub. And uh, there was a house party going on and we just kept seeing cars turn up. You go out for a fag, cut another car, another car. Honestly, there must have been about 200 people in this little fucking house in the middle of nowhere opposite this pub. Then all of a sudden, all the blue lights turned up. Whoop and there was about four police cars rocked up and just walked into this house. And I thought, this is going to go badly because they're all going to want to come in here. So I stood out sort of at the door of the pub. I was like, I'll keep them away. It'll be fine. The bar, the like pretend get- bouncer. Yeah, that's the one. You know it. But the, what do you call them? Landlord of the pub, he was proper shitting it. He was like, they're going to come in here. They're going to ruin it. I was like, no, it'll be fine. Don't worry. Lock the fucking door, mind. Yeah, fuck that. It's more fun. I want to go out for a fag. Um, <laughs> and uh, so they uh, started coming and I realised I had no fucking clue what they were saying because it turned out they were all townies. So I went inside and got the most townie beater I could find and um, he come and stood on the door and it was almost like that scene from Hot Fuzz where they go to the barn and he's got the mine, or the lamp, uh, the PC yeah. mine. You have to have a translation. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. they would say right, something, yeah. hey, bro, say it, and I'd go... Oh, right. Okay, that makes sense. Yes. And, yeah, I stood there for about three hours pretending to be a policeman. And all the police <laughs> come up to me and were like, what are you doing? And I was like, telling them to fuck off. And he was like, why? And I was like, because you're fucking not. Goodbye. <laughs> and, yeah, I stood there for about three hours pretending to be a policeman. Slam, slam, slam the old oak door and job done. Like. That's the fucking one. <laughs> um, other than that, we've nearly set fire to his old garden. That was about no, it. No luck. Like, nearly, you did. Oh, well, I don't like Just what? the one we swan, actually. <laughs> well, <laughs> we, we were having a barbecue. Well, it wasn't really a barbecue. You tried to make a barbecue, and instead I turned it into a fire. Yeah. And then I found a track tyre. Allegedly, old... allegedly, there was a track tyre. Allegedly, apparently. an old two-wheel drive little track tyre, front tyre. Allegedly. And, and that appeared allegedly. on the bonfire. Ah. Uh, um, set the fire to is... the garage roof the tree that was next to it and there were a load of fence posts round where the fire was apparently and they were like probably about six seven inches square four of them were on fire me in my slightly inebriated state the best thing i could do to solve the situation was go and get a chainsaw and cut the post down and the tree at midnight yeah uh, and then get a bucket of water the and chuck it on the, is, the posts were about hey. that far away from the fire and i managed to get Good the fire going foot. that well in an oil drum that we cut the top off of you to set a, them on fire you want a fire starter apparently i was the fire starter because <laughs> he was around the corner Body having voice. a conversation with some i can't remember what you were doing some but he came back around and he was like why is my house orange Someone and then turned around and realized the fire was very much out of control the house is the fire the house was <laughs> nearly the fire yeah yeah it was mad anyway we won't mad. talk about that because we got kicked out that was out the night i opened um, beer bottles with a chainsaw as well that was also the night that i, I thought there was a cow was giving birth oh, i like that oh, i thought there was That's a cow giving birth in the field there. next door turns out it was him throwing up i genuinely Quite thought that vomiter. cow's very loud and then walked in the house and went oh no it's him <laughs> He's vomiting. <laughs> Not a cow. Done a full twelve pack of dark in about half an hour. Oh, oh well, that'd do you in, wouldn't it? Yeah, it did. Send that might, that's it. That's probably nothing. Will be to kill our you. mate that fucking okay, so no. Um, not when you from Wiltshire, you. Yeah, nothing will be our mate that drank eight cans of dark fruit, drove about half. Allegedly, a, allegedly, 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 allegedly very drove allegedly. about half hour down the road and still blew under the limit in Mexico. F- fucking what that, that out? road? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, we yeah, were on that road. road. <laughs> Mexican flags either side, like fell asleep. Managed to move a Mondeo estate with a 1.2, like the old, um, it'll titch or no, but the old, I can't remember what shape they were. Is it Polo. 9N3 polos? Like I think that. so. He managed to move a Mondeo Nine estate. N2. Possibly. That might be the one. I yeah, don't it know. is, yeah. It's a polo. Who gives a fuck? Um, <laughs> just putting it out there. Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, see, I was right. Um, he managed to move a Mondeo estate with a 9N3 a good 150 yards down the road because he hit it that hard while asleep. And then when I turned up there and the police turned up, he blew under the limit. And I was like, how the fuck 
have you done that? Stuck in on a copper coin. Just, just run. Yeah. Just yeah. to put in the context what the car looked like. You know, you see those car crushers. It looked like it had been halfway through one of them. But the best bit the is... The bonnet was three inches long. He bought it at 12 o'clock midday. Yeah. That crash happened at 12 o'clock midnight. Yep. The same day. <laughs> It I lasted mean, 12 yeah. hours. The well, person he brought it off was a mate of ours. She does still she doesn't She still know. doesn't know. This was five years ago. <laughs> yeah. No one's told her because she, she loved that car and uh, sold it to him and he <laughs> fucked it in 12 hours. She if still you don't know, now you know. Yeah. yeah. Now you ah, know. she ain't listened to this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's my night out. Right, H? Oh, I don't know. There's, there's a couple it could be. Um... Obviously, the AGM young farmers down in Torquay was a good... Uh, I say it was a good night, but that wasn't really farmers. a night. It was three days. And I sort of pride myself on... We did... I drove down there, down in Torquay. Um, allegedly got down there in about half the time the sat-nav said it would take. Apparently. Allegedly. It was in Mexico, in Torquay. Uh, yeah. The Mexican Torquay, that's <laughs> the one. We own a road in Mexico. That's the one. That must have, yeah, yeah, yeah. must have been the one. Um, I can't say Torquay in Mexico and accent and realise I can't do one. <laughs> Torquay... That's the one. Um, hey, papi. Hey, papi. Drove down there and was on it for, yeah, three days. Um, just didn't stop drinking. Got in about four or five in the morning. There was, we were staying in a hostel and there was a casino opposite. Hostel. So when all the, oh. cheap, mate. It was a young farmer. Uh, um, when the, uh, when all the bars and stuff shut about three, four in the morning, go back to the casino, bet a quid. And then you just get really cheap drinks all night till six in the morning. Go back, a couple of hours sleep, wake up, can of dark fruit, down Mackey's. Breakfast and gone, like, but no, I reckon the best night was probably a young farmer's party. It was a Christmas party, it was quite local, and it was a fairly lit night anyway. They were doing five Jaeger bombs for a fiver, it's so it started out. Is this it started that one as good as yeah, that yeah. one. Um, it yeah, started out bomb. badly and got worse. Um, I don't remember a lot of it, I've only got what other people told me happened. <laughs> Second hand um, information, like, yeah, it was my young farmers that were hosting the party, so we got to. Three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, at least. And started to, you know... Wind down. Yeah, the young farmers I was part of, we'd you know, go and clean up, start tidying up and making it look presentable. So we were walking around, putting cans and bottles and stuff in the rubbish bags. And I was walking around fairly lit already. And there were quite a few that still had stuff in. Mine's so I was like, pain. just ah. send it on. And I filled a bin bag. I don't know how much was in each one. I was just like, pick it up. Yeah, it's got some in it. We'll have that. Next one, have that, have that. Oh. The next thing I remember was nine o'clock. I found him next... hanging out of a Ford Fiesta about three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Chundering no, his nut up. it was eight o'clock in the morning because I did actually We're get some sleep. Hair. I woke up and I woke up to warm a warm substance. I didn't know what it was going through my hair. I was leaning out of the door because I've been to sleep in it because we're young farmers who so sleep in the cars. And uh, because we're cool like that, yeah, we're cool like that. <laughs> hey, after you, after who you woke up with, you can't say, shit. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, I did not get my end away, so I'm not unset about it. You're the <laughs> only person in Wiltshire not to sleep with that, yeah, I know, <laughs> yeah, she, um, and she, me, you can't, Mama Thick, <laughs> <laughs> M- oh, Mama so Thick oh. with one too many C's. <laughs> she were a bike, she'd be a fucking Raleigh. <laughs> ah. Um, yeah, I woke up. One of my mates was trying to make me feel better by pouring a bottle of Domestos through me hair. Oh, shit. Yeah, I woke up. I was throwing up. And at the same time, he was there with a bottle of Domestos, like, just squirting in. But like, that made you feel better, drive. That's the reason for this. Uh, is oh, was it, did did it actually go peroxide blonde? <laughs> no, nothing happened. No, what about his hairline? No, no, that, but I'm like, the fucking Domestos. <laughs> no, nothing nothing really happened. Oh, the lucky the day, but Yeah, no, that was, um, that was quite a good night out. <laughs> <laughs> winch, the, the winch one wasn't too bad when we got absolutely it was 20 quid entry and then free bar once you got oh, what in. was that uh trumps versus mexicans no the one before yeah, that it was, wasn't it? It was, no, that was oh, the no, first one they did yeah, 20 yeah. quid no oh. the, the one before that the, you were at it as well yeah because you just started to try and make out with me to. at fucking two o'clock uh, in the morning at what party did you attend where it's trumps versus mexicans young farmers uh, winch young farmers young farmers young farmers shout them out because they're the boys um, yeah. They put a theme on all of their parties. So we've had Trumps versus Mexicans, short shit shirts, short skirts, hot yeah. fuzz. Um, so it's basically had? the most inappropriate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking like, one. But like Harvey Weinstein's versus his victim. Like. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Mama, no. You I mean, say that. <clears throat> we, we ate the kebab van out of kebab. <laughs> we ate. <laughs> That's 10 out of 10 for us. Uh, the yeah. full skewer. It was empty by one o'clock. The old the elephant leg. Yeah, oh, yeah, she was gone. Yeah. He had like three cheeseburgers left. That was it. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> Sold them all off yeah, at 50p I, I can't go. remember what So I took theme... Sheon and fell asleep in a pheasant rearing shed. Yeah, right. <laughs> I can't remember what Get theme on. that party was, but I remember it was 20 quid entry and then it was free bar once you got in unless you wanted spirits. Yeah. yeah. Which Cider was, just, was free. Was Pound shot and they fucked. Cider was free. Everything oh, yeah. was free. Oh, yeah. 20 lager. quid entry, free bar all night. Club Tell me that's not a bad idea. Pound a shot. They ran out about... I think we turned up about eight o'clock. By half yeah. past ten, they'd run out of everything. Use the so, cash entries to go to Tesco's and buy yeah. more. <laughs> they went to Tesco and bought more. They didn't just go in a car. They took one of the young farmers' Hiluxes with a canopy oh, on the back yes. and filled, filled, it. filled it. They went yeah. in to Tesco's. They had a fresh pallet of dark fruit. You and went, they went, can you load that into the back of my truck? <laughs> they, backed the, they backed the Hilux into up. Into the loading bay. Like. No, they backed it up to the double doors at the front, like the electric doors, yeah, yeah. held them open with some things over the sensors, and then had a chain of like five or six Tesco employees and Yeet. the young farmers just Yeet. passing crates of dark fruit to each other. And they yeah. stacked the back of this Hilux full. And we still ran out by one o'clock. That's not even the best part of the story. The best part is the fact we got utterly lit. And then at, what, half seven, eight o'clock in the morning... Our mate, who well, I shouted him out earlier, but Jack, who Shout out Jack Jenkins. bless him, what five year ago had a heart transplant. He's the same age as us, but he, ah, had, he had a full yeah. heart transplant. Or I don't know much about it, and we're not worried about that. No, but we don't talk about it. Do we? He was in hospital in Cambridge at Patworth Heart, heart Hospital, and us in our hungover state went. You know what would be really good because we met two of his mates that were on about going up there tomorrow. If we drove up yeah, there. Yeah. So we, at half past eight, we left Winchester and drove to Cambridge. Allegedly, because <laughs> I was allegedly the driver. Hammered. Allegedly, we did, it was 125 miles from the Young Farmers Party to the car park at Patworth Hospital. Allegedly, it took us 125 minutes to do 125 miles, including a stop, two yeah. stops for Mackey's breakfast. Yeah. Not and to be sick and when you got there, was he like, what the fuck are you doing? Here? He, he was asleep. He was asleep. <laughs> and the nurse was like, oh, it's not normal visiting hours till this afternoon. And we're like, are you taking a piss? We've just driven fuck knows how far because I'm still wankered to sit, allegedly, to see him <laughs> to make sure he's all right. And you're not letting us go in. All right, go in, just be quiet. And we walked in, where are you getting on, Shag? And he looked over one eye and went, what the fuck are you lot doing here? <laughs> and then went back to sleep for half an hour. Yeah, it was fucking brilliant. Bless right. You. Anyway, I think on. that's a good time to take a break, Marlon. Yeah. Um, after the break, we're going to be counting my grey hairs and asking day. Reg about <laughs> his butt shaving routine. Oh wow! It's careful and delicate. Duct right. tape to fun. Oh. So we we'll see you in a minute, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Ciao. Ciao. Right, and welcome back. I've not been to the fridge because this stuff doesn't belong in a fridge. <laughs> it belongs in the bin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it belongs down a drain. No. In right. a really deep pit. Yeah. So the gentlemen that have joined us this evening have brought uh, has supplied the guest not beer. I don't even know what what, uh, what is it? What, wine. What is it? Tonic wine. Tonic wine. Now we have the infamous Buckfast this evening. And um, I've never had it. Have you, Marlon? No. No, have any of you ever drank no, it? No, 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 I don't have a clue. It's so this is an absolute, this is going to be a first time for everyone. So, with any more feet, with any more further ado, Marlon, could you re <laughs> What is not the marketing bullshit, but it's actually a fucking health warning. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, it's a health warning. So, red wine based aperitif, 99.28% high caffeine content. 30 milligrams for 100 mil. That's nearly like Red Bull territory. It is Red Bull, it is it? Red Bull territory. <laughs> Not recommended for children or pregnant or breastfeeding women. Contains sulfites. Um, <laughs> bottled by Jay Chandler and Co. I hope you fucking die. Made by monks, though. So that's yeah, a good thing. It's, it's, it's religious. It's made in a monastery. And monastery. always remember to drink responsibly. There's nothing responsible about what is in These that These monks bottle. some hard There is... <laughs> made by monks in fucking some devil. Jackie Chan ash shit. 12 units in a bottle. They some straight gays. Jesus. Right, I don't know. Um, if right. Are we going to have a swig? Initially, or? the smell... It, it smells like my nan's bathroom. It really does smell Do you know like what I mean? So like, oh, that is yeah. horrendous. <laughs> that <laughs> right. is awful. Are we going to have a go then? Yeah. Go on, yeah. Go on, oh, God. Oh, it tastes just uh. as bad. It's not as bad as I thought, to be oh. honest. Oh. I've, I've had a lot worse. Oh, my good God. It's, oh. Uh, I'll, be, I'll go out there and say it's not. It's not nice. That is a, that's that a trip advisor. Oh. One star. That goes down recommend. your spine. 
It's warming, oh. isn't it? I like it is, it's I'm very, yeah. Oh, it's, do you know what? It, that is a, that's a Christmas drink. It's that like is. Paul. Is it? It warms that you on the a, way down. Yeah, it does. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's thick. You like it, do you? It's, it's not bad. See it off, then. No, uh, no, it's see not it thick. Oh, see it off. It's like a can of Red Bull. Is it? Ah, fuck it. Don't throw up on my fucking carpet. Oh, my God. He's going to die. He's going to die. <laughs> He's going to die live on the podcast. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> Dano, Tango just... one, Dano down. <laughs> I'm going to give him the sick bucket. <laughs> so, just to clarify, Dano leant down to go get the sick bucket and fell off his bar stool. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> They're not leaning stools. You need oh. to like stand up to bend. I down. thought I could reach it. No, <laughs> I just want to make wrong. I just want to make a couple of things clear. Even though it sounds like we're absolutely bollocks, we stopped for about ten minutes, and that was about it. We went straight back into it. But everyone must think we're fucking cunted. <laughs> no, yeah, we're not. Surprisingly, no. right? We're trying yeah. out at some point. Right. We're not drinking all of the Calm the fuck down. Well. Just asking a question. Fucking hell. Right then, you're going to be the problem tonight, aren't you? Right, you knew that from the start, didn't you? Know. <laughs> Look at what I turned up in. Uh, right, problem children. Uh, <laughs> let's give this our TripAdvisor rating. I'm going to give it... Um, are we doing decimal points? No. No. no, no, no. no. TripAdvisor, no. He gets, he gets very no. autistic about that. You must be careful. Don't trigger um, him. Screams nines. Uh, I'm going to give it a two. It's I'm not, it's it not the worst thing I've ever had, but it's not nice by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah. I'd go three. Yeah? I'd say it's, it's, it's not that bad. You could drink it. No, I, I'm, go, I'm going to drink I'm, it. Yeah, I'm going yeah. to finish gonna, it. I'm not going to see it off like Stano in the corner. Hello. He looks like he's got problems after drinking that. But Hello, you can. I've got really Hello. important Hello. topics coming up in a minute. It's a, it's a glass of ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> It's hideous. It's fucking it's, hideous. It's a two star for me. Yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm down it, at the bottom. I'll, I'll give it a one. Definitely tastes more like four star. I can safely <laughs> say <laughs> down in it didn't oh, make it any better. Yeah. Brick. No. You're old enough no. to remember that, aren't you? It's the yeah. colour that gets it for me. It's yeah. not even fucking red. Like, it's black. It's, it's, the same it's, black. Black. it's the same colour as Coke, isn't it? You can't yeah. see through it. It's Coca Cola oh, and it's no, thick. It smells like soap, and when you down it, it. Yeah. Tastes like ass. I'm going to go for a two as well. <laughs> it's like that, that, like that amateur you used to get as a culture. kid and it tasted banana or strawberry. No one fucking wanted it, but you had to take it. <laughs> I it's, miss it's that. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> yeah. It tastes like burning. I also spilled my hands. It's very sticky. Anyway. <laughs> right. Deleted. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, that's fast. never coming back. No. Yeah, no. no. Not a chance. <laughs> right. Uh, I know anyway. it's a bit, it, it doesn't really flow nicely, but we are going to move into a slightly more important yeah. and pressing topic. Um, we spoke about it a lot on this podcast in the past and sort of, you know, we've dipped and dabbed into it, but this episode, we thought it'd be quite important to focus on something that is really important to talk about. And that's, uh, mental health in um, men, in, in, yeah, in blokes. I mean, it, obviously in women, it matters as well, but yeah. I think everyone's aware that mental health in blokes is something that's severely not talked about. And we are trying to normalize it in this, you know, trying in, well, yeah, we're try trying to normalise it in our society, and I feel like we should do our part now that we've gotten to a size that you it's know going to make a difference. People, uh, yeah, with two C. Um, if we can help in any way, shape, or form, right? Your messages prove a point, don't they? Yeah, you yeah. had the message saying if it wasn't for you guys, it probably might not have been it. Yeah, yeah. So, hundred percent. It might be small. It might only be an hour and a half every Friday, but for some people, that hour and a half every Friday. Is there a it, thing? That's it. Mm. And yeah. if they're released, they're... Yeah. If we help two people by if talking about it and person... getting people... Yeah, that's enough, isn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. you, you're doing something. And it is important to reach out. And I know we're from a slightly biased sort of viewpoint, but yeah. farmers especially. Yeah. And it's not just the older ones as well. It's, ev it's everyone involved in agriculture. Mm. Mental health is shit. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, mental health and farming is crap. I mean, I can speak yeah. from experience. I don't want to speak for anyone else in my family. Um, that Obviously, uh, we're, closer to, that we're closer to it than I was, but I lost my uncle last year during COVID to mental health. That was a really fucking shit situation. And for my three cousins, God bless him, and my auntie, it was, it was fucking horrendous. And I saw it firsthand. Yeah. So I, you know, I sort of understand what's going on. So whoever wants to start us off, obviously, I think, to be honest, we want to go to those two boys because yeah. 
I know them. I've got something else they haven't. <laughs> well, <laughs> as, bad as, that, <laughs> as bad as that sounds, I've got something they haven't. So I think it'd be no, no one start, likes a show off today. <laughs> <laughs> Just give you like two parents. That's Fuck right. off. The, the majority of us here have uh, have yeah. Oh no, the majority on the microphones have uh, yeah, okay. one parent. So yeah, Ditch. right. Yeah. Wank. Um. Do you want to start? No, after you, mate. Um. Mine's very different. I lost my old man when I was 11 years old. No, uh, yeah, 11, 12 years old. It's 11 years next January. Um, that was cancer. That was everything. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I, I think that's the thing. I, I, I don't want to speak for anyone else, but I've had 11 years of it. I don't know where everyone else has been, but it's been a fucking hard time for bits of it. Yeah. And like I said earlier about Dorset, it's in my blood, it's that. That was my thing. That was, was, me, thing and, that was me and him. And as much as I... I it, was, it was him, it was his old man as well, who I lost 2007, I think. My granddad died, my dad's dad. And they were, they were the same person in my eyes. They were both steam engines, tractors, everything. Proper I learned... Every, agri man. Yeah. I learned everything I could learn from them. And yeah. When he died, it was. I always remember it was. The, it was the night before I was supposed to go back after Christmas holidays in year seven, and it was that night. And I remember getting the phone call from my mum because I knew it wasn't going to go well. And yeah, when she phoned, and I, I knew. And was he in hospital at the time? Yeah, yeah. yeah he he came out for Christmas, um, and spent Christmas with us. And that's the last proper memory I have of him is walk, waking up at about two o'clock in the morning and I was like why is there noise downstairs and he was sleeping on the sofa downstairs because mm. my mum and my dad weren't together that's another story um, and he was watching Back to the Future and I woke my sister up and I was like let's just go and sit with him and that's the last memory I have properly of him is me and her watching Back to the Future with him on that Christmas and yeah and it's I don't know it 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 didn't hit home, I don't think, until his actual funeral. And we we we're very into steam engines, but we're very into other things. Like my family did. I don't know if any of you know, but like speedway and grass track and things like that. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. about them. Um, Big ovals. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. But like the bikes and what have you, and the amount of people. We his funeral was in a little church opposite where he grew up, well, where he was born and where he grew up, where my nan still lives, and. Um, and when you walked, we were the first ones into the church, obviously, and it filled up the church until we walked out with his coffin to put him in the ground. We didn't realise quite how many people knew him. When you're, yeah. the church yeah. is filled to the point where people are stood shoulder to shoulder and then you walk out and there is a good 200 people outside of the church, that's when it hits home as to how many people right. he knew and yeah. it hit home. And I was like, it's not just that, it's how many fuck. people cared about him. Exactly. How many people, like, we had people from Germany that he knew from steam engines and racing. Like, when we used to go racing, we used to go to Germany, Belgium, France. Oh. And there was people that had come, steady. There was people that had come over from there just for his funeral. And that hit home. But then, I don't know, I'd, we'll get on to it later about dealing with it. And like Reg said previously, counselling. Counselling fucking helps. And I will stand by that, but... Yeah, we'll get on to that later on. But yeah, that's that's where my whole thing started was about 11 years ago. I'll, I'll let each have a go. Well, <clears throat> I don't really know where to start, to be honest. I mean, I lost I lost my dad. This might take a while. 18 yeah, months ago? Um, March. 20, March? 20, no, April. April 2020. April 2020. April the 10th, 2020. And it was a complete shock. No one had any idea that there was anything out of the ordinary. I mean, the first I knew that there was anything wrong, and I was living away, not far away, but sort of half an hour away from the family home. Yeah, about that. Um, I was living up there in a house that I got with a job, and I had a knock on the door at about half two, three o'clock in the morning. Oh, shit. That's from the police. Good, is it? But it wasn't... It wasn't like the end wasn't the end because they knocked and said have you seen him and he's missing oh jesus N not a clue no i i haven't we was and the police said he's supposed to be coming here i he wasn't if he was ever coming to see me he would have rung me and told me 
because he always used to ring. He was one of those sort of people that if he was going somewhere, he'd ring you and tell you he was going. Make sure you're in, though. Yeah, exactly. He wouldn't bother wasting a journey. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he, he hadn't rung, so I, I didn't think anything more of it. I tried ringing him a few times, but got no answer. And uh, sat there for a bit and then got a phone call from my mum, drove home and stayed up till six, seven o'clock in the morning, went to sleep. And I don't know, it. it's almost like it still hasn't hit today, like 18 months down the line, however long it is. But, I mean, for the first four days, constantly, I was phoning people that he knew. And I don't know if anyone listening knew him, but he was a machinery dealer. He started out at Lister Wilder and Devizes was my first memories, and then went down near Salisbury and then went back up to Lister Wilder so in the in the latter days years um but he yeah i must have spent four days on the phone because he he never i don't know it sounds like i'm being favoritist but like he was always friendly with everyone and he never just had a customer it was never just a customer it was, it was always, always a friend he was always a friend yeah always a friend he would do anything to help a customer if he'd sold them a tractor and it wasn't working he would go out and fix it like i remember I remember one day he rang me and said he was on the way to Andover to see one of his customers um, who'd had a tractor for five years but had had a tractor driver driving it and he'd never driven it. So dad was going out there teach him how to, do to it teach him how to do it. But on the way he had to go and pick him up lunch because he'd forgotten to bring his own lunch bag. So it was just <laughs> things like that all the time. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah. Like he was going out to see a tractor. He- Give me work experience. He yeah. did, didn't he? Yeah. He worked yeah. And paid me for it. Yeah. yeah. He-, he would always give everyone a chance and he was always nice to everyone. And I, I yeah. don't, I won't hear a bad word said about him because so many people respected him and liked him. Yeah. And yeah, like I said, I spent four days phoning people to let them know well, was, so that they knew. I yeah. was staying with you at the time, wasn't I? Yeah. I was at the same house. We was, I was paying him a few quid just to stay where he was just because it was a laugh. Mm. You yeah, know, young people. And I, um, I went away for a few weeks during COVID, come back after it all quietened down a bit. So I'll come back in the yard, after, back into his house after work. And I thought, ah, no one here. I thought, ah, they're just working late because him and his partner at the time was both um, farmers. Um, anyway, I thought, that's all right. They're just working late. I'll go indoors. I knew where the keys were. I knew where the, everything that was. Went indoors, sat down, sat there. A couple of hours later, I think, fucking hell. He ain't never been working this late. No, I say, yeah. I thought, give him a call. So I give him a bell. Couldn't get hold of him. I thought, ah, I'll give his, I'll give his uh, partner time a call. Give her a call. And she just went, you're all right. And I went, ah, it's bad. She went, um, I was like, where are you two then? And I was like, you finished working late? And she was like, no, aren't you heard? And I went, nah. She went, ah. And I actually told you. And I went, nah. I hadn't said nothing. I was like, I just finished work. I was like, now it's calmed down. I thought I'd come back up. Oh, wow. Uh, you might want to give him a call. Put the phone down. I thought, all oh, right. I thought, ah. As bad as it sounds, I thought, ah, they've broken up or something. Right. Just something simple like that. Yeah. Nothing serious. Yeah, yeah, just, ah, oh, they, they've broken up. Yeah. Nothing, nothing serious. I got hold of H. And I was sat in his um, conservatory smoking area, whatever the fuck <laughs> yeah, we wanted to call it. Smoking room that wasn't. <laughs> whatever, <laughs> yeah, whatever yeah. we called it at the time. And he answered the phone. He went, "You're all right, mate." I went, "That's ah, bad." I was like, "When are you?" Or and ah, I met my mum's. Ah, ah, fair enough. No worries. I'll um, what time are you back? And he went, "Ah, I ain't coming back for a few days." I went, ah, all right, no worries. That's fine. I'll um, I'll head home. I said, "Everything all right?" And he went, "Ah, not really." What's happened, mate? Um, me old man, he's um, I can't remember your exact words, but I think I yeah. said he passed away because he that was passed what I said away. To everyone, yeah. And the amount of lot, like, it's that I was ringing people from um, like all different parts of the country, and all like there was a chap who used to work for Challenger who lives up in the north, worked up in the north, and uh, I had to like ring him and tell him and he rang the like answered the phone happy as anything and the amount of people like that like there was a friend of mine who I spoke to three or four days afterwards um and the old man had had made friends with one of the like sort of deputy vice chairmans of Fent and I don't know if you've heard of Fent but they're a fairly big German tractor brand yeah um And yeah, he was sort of good friends with him and he, he was shocked and disappointed to, not disappointed, but like a bit upset by yeah. it. And 
Yeah, I don't know. I'm still dealing with it every day. That was the thing when I, I just it was the fact you just said yeah he passed away. And I was like you are fucking joking. Like you say, he give me a chance. He worked, did me a work work experience being an ag engineer. Yeah, that was what I wanted to do at the time. I've got old tractors in myself. I already knew old man had taught me a fair bit. I'd rebuild an engine, all that sort of stuff, but needed to go somewhere. Obviously, new Hector, sort of half knew his dad. Um, went down for an interview one day, and he just said, "Yeah, come on up." Yeah. Drove down, and he'd already been good to me. Never had a bad word to say about the bloke. And it was just, even to me, and I know it must have been a thousand times worse for H over there. And I fucking, my heart goes out to the bloke because he held it so fucking well. But even me, I drove home that night back to my house and it was only a 20 minute drive, half hour drive at the most, if he was taking it steady. And I drove home that entire way and your your vision just goes blurry. Your whole body is just shaking. Yeah. And you can't work out why. And I sort of walked in, I parked up, walked in the front room, and Mother just goes, You're right. You're right. And I went, Not really. And he went, What's the matter? I was like, Hey, his dad's passed away. And I know it's, <laughs> it wasn't anything to do with me, but, mm. but even you, then, you, they were both still like, Are you okay? And I was like, No. no. Yeah. So it's, it's weird. I was like, I, I, all I was expecting when he answered the phone was just to say he'd split up or he'd moved away or he'd quit his job, something like that. I was never expecting what he'd said. And I can't imagine, I've hmm. still got two parents, I can't imagine what it would be like just to, lose, to lose one of them. <laughs> Humble brag. <Yeah. laughs> but, but I mean, it, <laughs> it's, can I just, on the way that you told me as well, because like he waited a few days. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is the... <laughs> As, as childish as we sound, we we love a bit of fucking Xbox and what have you. And at that point in time, he'd just got his Xbox and finally got Wi-Fi and we were going to play a bit of Farming Simulator because that's what you do as farmers. You just go home <laughs> and you play Farming Simulator. Farming. No, when when you finish night. farming, you go home and sit in front of a screen and do, do more, more farming. farming. Yeah. <laughs> and we talked about it the night before and I messaged him no, that, no. that morning and I said, oh, hey, Shag, I should be finished early like this morning. This one I was still contract. And I said, oh, I should be finished. We'd play a bit later. And he was like, I, I, I don't think I can. And I was like, Oh, right. Why not? And he just said, I, I'm a bit more like you. That was his words to me. I'm a bit <laughs> more like I you. Said. And I was like, how the fuck do you mean? Yeah. He was like, the old man's passed away. And I didn't believe it. I rung the cunt about four. He wasn't answering the phone at the point. But it was no, understandable it, now. Understandably, I think. But I mean, to be I quite candid, about... I was having a shit when, yeah. he mess- when he tried ringing me. I was like, I'm not answering the phone right <laughs> <laughs> There is that. But yeah, you do spend like two hours having a you shit. Do you, yeah. Boo. Quality but time. It was that message of I'm a bit more like you, and I was like, "What do you mean?" And he was like, "The old man's passed away." I was like, "Ah, no, there's no fucking way. Mm. There is no way that that's exactly happened." What I felt. It's just like no, Couldn't there was nothing. It. And, and but, like H said, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing. And I had to go to work that day, and the bloke I worked for at that point in time was quite a good friend of your old man. Yeah, he, he bought tractors off of him. Everyone who worked for him knew him. He and I had to go Merlo and, trip. To go to Italy yeah. in a couple of months, but that had been cancelled because of COVID. But like, yeah, they yeah. they got on really well, and I remember seeing him when like not long before in the yard. He was meant to come and see him that day, actually, wasn't he? Yeah, I mean, but, this is the thing. Sorry to interject. Yeah, yeah. But about mental health as a whole, and how everyone, not just in farming, but everyone, just look out for each other. Yeah. Because Every I spoke to some of his friends and not colleagues, but friends and customers. And we don't know, without trying to go into too much detail, we don't know exactly when my dad did it, but we got a rough idea. But he was still on the phone to his customers up until sort of two, three o'clock in the afternoon. And the only thing that one of them said that might have been a bit dodgy was he told him to cancel an order that he put in with a different dealership. He was like, yeah, I'd cancel that if I was you. That's not going to be a good idea. That was the only thing. Other than that, he was his usual happy, cheerful, friendly self. And just, yeah, how are you getting on? Yeah, I'll call in for a coffee tomorrow. I'll be I'll be around next week. I've got to do this, got to do that. And we'll come out and we'll get a demo for this sorted. So it wasn't... There I was don't know. nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, yeah. There was no change yeah. of yeah. No, it was, no. Just... it was like, I remember you saying to me, and yeah, sorry to butt in again, but... Yeah, he was meant to come and see my boss that day, wasn't he? At yeah. that point in time. He spoke to and, him on the phone in the morning and said, yeah. Yeah, I can't make it today, I'll come around tomorrow. Yeah. But nothing out of the ordinary because he used to do and that And I all remember the time. going in that day knowing what had happened 
and I couldn't tell anyone because he hadn't told anyone. And I was mm. like, I, I know all of these people know him and they will f- it will hit them as hard, not as hard as it's hit me. But I think yeah, at that point yeah. in time, when he said it to me, I was like, I know how he feels. Mm. I, I've got that level of like, like Dano was saying. The, the connection. It must have felt shit, yeah. but yeah. like I've been through that and I know how yeah, fucking hard got, it is. You've but got- I, the difference is, I think <laughs> it doesn't take away from it, but I knew... In deep down, as much as I was young, I knew it was coming for me. This come out the fucking blue more yeah. than anything ever could have come out the blue. And it just fucking hit home. It mm. really hit home for me. And I went, the first thing I thought was, I've got to fucking do something. And I, I don't want to blow me in trumpet or anything. But well, you might it was in the middle of... If you had a trumpet. I, I got a horn, but I gave it a, I gave it a red. Um, but That's why he's limited. I, was, I think it's actually called a bugle. <laughs> Touche. Um, <laughs> but I was, it was in the middle of fucking COVID. It was in the middle of everything, wasn't it, that it mm. happened? Well, it wasn't that long into and COVID, was no, it? No, it wasn't. It Everyone was, was April, still wasn't it? It was, yeah. it was during the first real proper lockdown because I know and, um, I got sent home by your boss because he wasn't oh, he too was happy. happy. Oh, he wasn't happy. But um, I was staying with him because apparently I was subletting and I wasn't. I was just chucking him in a couple of quid every month for the... <laughs> Council tax and rent, which we spent on beer. Yeah, and he had, that the in all tax fairness, still being paid off now. He had one of the nicest houses I've ever yeah. seen with a job. It was a four bedroom, uh, three upstairs, one downstairs. So yeah, four bedroom. Yeah, it was fucking with a driveway, lovely. with a garage, with detached. an outside. Oh yeah, fully detached fully in the middle detached. of fucking nowhere. Yeah, this is driveway. the one I nearly set on fire. Yeah, the massive driveway, garden. You could fit six cars on. Yeah. Plus a couple more if you didn't need to get any of the other ones out. I can fix six on mine, to be fair. Massive garden. Yours is in a council estate. It's- <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. On that note, I'm sleeping anyway. in the car tonight. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, I wasn't welcome because of COVID. <laughs> yeah. So I went but, home for a few weeks. Yeah. But get back I, to That it, conversation this, went to shit. Mm, this he, was... My boss said to him, oh, you're not welcome. My father's very ill and all this sort of shit. Yeah. And, you know, he's not going to be around for much longer. And I don't take away anything from anyone but his dad wasn't that ill he was just making a point because I was young and I had my mate staying around at my house without yeah, his I, prior I know, I know the ones yeah. Yeah. yeah and the conversation Pitching. just trying to swing his dick around that's oh, the yeah. one that's the and one. the conversation afterwards not immediately because I had to ring him to let him know that I wasn't going to be in work for a week um, and that was all I got off was like five five. It wasn't working even a days. week you got was it no I had five five working days but oh, it worked it? out because yeah. it was a Friday night I had two weekends yeah. as well Yeah, big whoop um, yeah. But when I went back, when I went back, he was going on about his dad. And he was like, like, shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I like the fact I, we I were at the same conclusion. So yeah. I didn't go with that. Con- I didn't go with that statement. I just remember him saying, "Oh yeah, my dad's not very well. I hasn't got very long left." And I remember looking, sort of just sort of looking up from my phone, looking around at him. Well, at least you'll have a chance to say goodbye, you cunt. Now fuck off. <laughs> And I yeah. had another two days off after that and <laughs> never even questioned Just it. Just to clarify, we're banned from this farm now. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're not. not we there. used to shoot there. We're banned. I accidentally... Fuck um, Obviously, but, the but I, let me Let me yeah. finish what I was saying earlier. Yeah, go on, mate. But, yeah, this was in the middle of buttfuck COVID and... <laughs> everyone, like you said, I don't... It's like a little bit like buttfuck That's the one. Nowhere, but <laughs> you know what I mean. But but with but, <laughs> yeah, but... <sighs> Like you say, you spent four four days on the phone to everyone, but no one come to see you. And I know this was in the middle of COVID, and I know this was probably very yeah. against the law, but... Fuck the law. Fuck the Judas law. priest breaking but the law. Like. I get on really... His mum is my mum. I, I call her mother. Second I, mother, like... Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. She's we second do, mother. We, we, we all say... Do. We all just come around each other. Everyone's mother right, is mother. mother. Yeah. 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 I've he got does three to mothers. Mine. mine, his, and his. Yeah. yeah. No, but no, no. I, I can w- turn up when they're not there and be like, yeah, I'll just go make a cup of tea before I go and say yeah. hello. And then I walk in the living room and be like, all right, mother, how are you getting on? Like, oh, all right, it's yeah. nice to see you. Yeah. <laughs> but Do you want a cup it, or no? I Don't finished matter. work at Anytime. fucking nine o'clock one night. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, it was like a week after, wasn't it? Yeah. Finished work at nine o'clock. I was like, right, I'm going to Tesco. I'm buying a fucking bunch of flowers and a bottle of wine and I'm and a card. I think I did a card as well. Yeah, you did. And you I went. You put his thumbprint at the bottom, like. That's That's questionable, but yeah. Two pissed to sign the Uh, (laughs) Probably. But I turned up outside their gate and, like, posh boy, fucking Tory cunt, gate. Um, Yeah, yeah, he went private school. Gate 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 drove. That's kick. That's the fucking one. (laughs) But his mum walked out and she was like, hello? And I was like, mother, come here. And this was middle of COVID. And she was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I brought you wine, I brought you flowers, and I brought you a card. Here you go. And she walked up to me and she started crying and gave me a hug because I was the only person that actually went and saw I wish I did. Yeah, I know what you mean. But. 
I went and gave her a card and gave her. A, I was just like, "Here's something that I can offer you because I know what this is fucking yeah. like." You were not a, to you the extent that you are, and I did. Yeah, yeah. But I know what this shit's fucking like, and I was like, "Here <laughs> you are," and she always like she always reminds me of it to this day, doesn't she? It's mm. it's just that little. It's the little things. It's it, yeah. But, but as, anyway, as yeah, nice as the. I'm not taking anything away from the little things because my mum does appreciate that every day. We need to be, as a community and as a... Society. Yeah, as a society. As we need to industry. be... As a, as some people no, always say... as a whole. I yeah, think. As, as a whole. whole as a prevention whole. is better than cure. Yeah. As, yeah. Uh, and as much as it, yeah. it is appreciated, like greatly appreciated that you came around with flowers and a card, yeah. I'd yeah. much rather someone knocked on the door three days before and said, now look here, Gas, we need to have a chat because you ain't right and yeah. something's got to be done. Yeah. And I know some people hide it very, very well. And I know he hid it well because I didn't know nothing about it until no. after it happened. But... Everyone needs to just do their bit, even if it's just yeah. sending a message saying, are you okay? No, seriously, well, like, are you all right? Well, yeah. Just um, because if we can help people, I don't want anyone to go through what I've been through. No. Be it as a, a as a son, as a parent, as a anything. sibling, cousin, anyone, as a friend, nothing. No one yeah. deserves to go through that. Well, what Kinger's got on his back windshield... I like that a lot. Yeah. It's, it's okay, okay. It's okay. Not to be okay. okay. Yeah. It, yeah. And it is. It and really is. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Shout out to grassmen of all people, the, the farming community. They're Irish boys. They're but, in Ireland. So they probably ain't fucking listening. But, but no, probably. But we'll give the, a shout out. They made that there. sticker, and I thought as soon as I bought that car, I was like, I'm putting that sticker on yeah, it. it. I had the, the sticker. I, saw. I had the sticker before I had the car. I was like, that is going on it. Yeah. Because it's okay not to be okay. And you it is. need to open. Yeah. Like like H was saying earlier when we were on about things, you got your phone, you got this, you can spend all day. Like, it doesn't matter, does it? I remember once when me and him were in the docks together, we were on the same shift on our own. We could have spoken on the CBs, but we were like, nah, because CBs are effort. We spent nine and a half hours on the phone to each other mm. because Personal it was just <laughs> chatting shit because it distracted us from what was going on. Yeah. And night shifts, I found, were always the worst because you sat there at three o'clock in the morning on Pitch your back. own pitch black fucking going around in circles in the docks because that's all you did and it just fucking weighed you down it was as bad as much as there was five other tractors around you it was as bad as being you could be a hundred miles away from somebody it was as bad as being in the middle of a field on your own cultivating at two o'clock in the morning and not having anyone to speak to it was yeah it was it's, it's weird, talking it? to people yeah it's and, and like it really is weird. as much as social media is a shit fucking thing for a lot of things yeah. and phones yeah. are a lot a, yeah. a shit they're also a godsend because you get snapchat boys and like you you do it with fucking um josh hardy of all people that shares your yeah story. that's true i'm gonna quick shout out josh hardy because <laughs> yeah. he's been a he's been a good bloke he's, he's a northern boy fairly but... tiktok famous as it were i, yeah. I use famous in inverted commas but he oh, does loads pit, of silly that's videos. That's a pit viper, isn't it? That's, yeah, that's yeah. the one. That's yeah, the yeah, yeah. Um, I got him on this. He's listening to that. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and I, I, I can't remember how I started talking to him. I think it was through TikTok. And we just got chatting about farming and general shit. And then he was like, oh, I had me Snapchat. And I Snapchat him every day now. And he Snapchats me. And we just chat yeah. bollocks to it's, each other. It's sharing really. that but farming it is, community. It doesn't matter if you're north, south, east, yeah. fucking America, wherever you are. Mm. If you've got those boys, uh, weirdly, TikTok has promoted it more than anything, I think. Yeah. Of sharing agree. Irish boys, English boys, it New Zealand, matter. Australia. You're all, you're, when you you're watch all on it, there and you can go, seen. oh, look on this bloke, he's got a Snapchat, I'll add him, and yeah. you can chat shit. Mm. And it's nice because you've got those random people that haven't heard your stories before that you can chat to and like and, we'll chat the same stories to yeah. it's like being with a fucking 80 year old woman you chat the same stories four times a night but <laughs> it's, you know what I mean you go and see your nan she tells you the same story six times It's you don't mind no you, you don't give it's fuck. just talking talking is the main yeah. fucking thing no one does it it's In okay farming, not no to be one okay it. no because I, I yeah Josh Hardy especially never met him I don't know if no. I ever will meet him because he's so far up north I and I can't him. be bothered to drive that far north for the M4. That's it. <laughs> and South of Brissa. Exactly. Brissa. You, reach that, you reach that part and you see your voice starts changing. <laughs> All right, uh, kid. But <laughs> not too north, north to see two kids. <laughs> Hang on, where did I come from? Took Lion, Took Witch, and Took Wardrobe. Greatest hits by Took Took. 
But I chat to him every day. And sometimes we'll just chat about normal farming shit. And sometimes, yeah, we'll just chat about deep shit. And it's just nice. Sometimes it's nice to chat to someone you don't know as well because yeah, they don't yeah. know your problems. Exactly. And yeah. you don't know their problems. That's, yeah, no. So I've... you can listen as a new ear and give them your perspective and they give the same to you. Yeah. And if everyone who's listening, if you're having a down day, message your mate. Message up the so- phone. Yeah, message someone you've seen it, on the uh, internet. It doesn't matter who because if. The fucking doghouse, man. Message yeah. the doghouse. Yeah. Yeah. They haven't and... got anything to do all the time, so they can message <laughs> <laughs> we do yeah. nothing. Sit here and message piss. fucking people. Thing is, we laugh about that, but it's true. Yeah, yeah it is. It's so like, true. Message just anyone. Message anyone. someone. Ring someone. I will leave spend... my voicemail. Grant, I don't know every day, but I've got a mate who suffered with bar these two bastards. What's on? I've got another mate who's really <laughs> struggled with his mental health, and he's come close to like yeah, a few times, and it comes to the stage where you'd have to call him for. 10 minutes every day just to make sure mm. you he's not like it anymore fair play he's got a kid on the way he's just moved into his own plat in uh, money flat <laughs> fucking plat flat place and flat. flat but just calling people i can spend i don't do it every day i will admit i don't do it every day and i probably should but i could spend 2 hours every day just calling everyone on my phone list that yeah. i'm really close to mm. just to have yeah. a chat nothing yeah. no agenda no just motto, no nothing, just a chat. How are you getting on? Just, a, yeah. just how are you getting on? I want to make that this week's hashtag. How are you getting on? Yeah. How are you? Because that I is, want everyone to message someone. It's okay well not to that. be okay. I'll go for both of them. Yeah. But how are you getting Load on? Up. I want everyone to message at least one person this week and just ask them how they're getting yeah. on. Yeah. Because that could be the difference. Yeah, we can get down with that. And man. I, yeah. Definitely. And but, I, I know you you feel the same, Reg, and Marlon, I expect as well. You'd rather take 10 you know, minutes out of your day. You press 24-7. Well, that's very true. <laughs> <laughs> but what are you going to do? You'd rather t- sort of spend 10 minutes of your day chatting to someone you don't know very well no, just to make yeah. sure they're all right. Oh, right, Shag. Yeah. Cool. Are you pissed? <clears throat> no, I'm just, yeah. I, I just want everyone to message someone. Because if you do that little bit, that could be the difference. It could be the difference yeah. between seeing and them the next someone day checking or not. In. I know. The only way I can describe it, it's like soup. In a ri- You're going to all think mm, I'm fucking soup. mad. Not that. We already But do. it's like... <laughs> that's true. Ah, it's like yeah, a soup in, in your head, like fog. Yeah. And you can't... You can't no matter where you together. turn, you can't see anything. And all you can see is this grey mist and it just surrounds you and envelops you and there's no way out. Yeah. And one message from someone can come through that and that can be your light out. And if that's what everyone does, yeah. if one person does that for everyone, that will help them. Yeah. And I know I've been there. I've been there looking around and it's just fog, fog and fog. And there's no, there's no exit. There's no way out. And all you do is you look forward and you end up going back to the same thoughts that you were having an hour yeah. ago. And I want everyone to message someone. Just do a little bit. It doesn't take a lot. It doesn't take a lot. It doesn't take fuck no. all. No. no. I mean, I message a dog out Five pretty minutes much of... every day. Yeah. Like, and I know it's a silly example, but, but it doesn't take 10 minutes out of my day to message them or them no. to message me. Exactly. And just how you getting on. Yeah. And you do that, and that can be someone's way out of it. Yeah. And just you, you have that conversation with someone. Like another one, Rob Hawkin. Rob Hawkin. Yeah. I will shout, shout out Rob Hawkin. Out Rob Hawkin. He Snapchat every single one of us cunts this exactly. morning. After you fucking mentioned it on the Snapchat. On he's the, a boy uh, of mine. He is a, he's a boy. boy. He's big tangs So he I said I would. Top. So yeah, shout out Rob Hawkin. Shaggy yeah. giving it the big yeah. You can keep her country because I reckon <laughs> I reckon I've had three or four nice chats with him. Oh, yeah. Not a lot, but just enough. And yeah. you just chat with him. Sometimes you're feeling a bit shit, and you say, "How are you getting on? How's yeah. it, what's it like out in your lorry?" And you just chat about something completely different. And if nothing, it's else, the different things. That it make takes your mind off it for half an hour. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes that's all it needs—a little break from seeing the fog. Yeah. I know I keep going back to it, but that's just what it is. It is. No, it's, 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 no a, point. it's a really good metaphor. I think yeah. It, yeah. it makes total fog, sense yeah. for anyone that doesn't understand it, who hasn't been in a situation like that. It's I think about yeah. being lost in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And there's no way out. And yeah. So, Getting back to and, what Reg has said previously on the podcast, I, 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 well, I'm the only one out of the three of us, I think, that's actually been through counselling. And yeah. I did it in year 11 at school because I did year 7, 8, 9, 10 of just oh, yeah, I'll getting on right. with it. And I'll deal, get on with it. That, yeah, you fucking fine. know it. I did exactly and the same. And I got the year 11 and 
It hits it's you like, like a fucking something just house. fucking switches. Yeah. Hits you like and a you just go, you, yeah. it's like you realise what's actually happened. Yeah. And you're like, this shit ain't right. This really ain't right. I shouldn't be thinking the things I'm thinking. No, mm. exactly. Yeah, and, like... And like Dano said about his mate, I don't know who we're quite on about, and I expect we'll have a conversation about his yeah, after, but... Do. it. I've never said this to anyone, but I've got to that point. I've really fucking got to that point. Mm-hmm. And this is back when I was year 11, year like start college and you just sat there like what the fuck is the point and you're fucking the person i've looked up to my entire fucking life is gone yeah and has been gone for this long and i've not really processed it and i will shout i, I know her name was kate and she was an old lady and she was my counselor and she was fucking amazing because she just sat there and listened to all the shit i wanted to spout and that's what yeah. the thing is I... it's someone that will listen to you and don't be afraid to fucking go and yeah. seek help. It doesn't matter if you're a man or woman or fucking Child. anything. Toaster. To- yeah, that's the fuck that's the Just fucking get help, man. Because so, if you need help, they will help you. And don't be ashamed of it. I've watched, There's nothing um, to be ashamed of. One of these like 24-hour ambulance, In, air ambulance like things. A&E thing. Yeah, yeah. Like whatever thing. which one it was. And they went to some bloke and he'd got his leg trapped in um, some sort of dairy machinery. And they said, and the bloke in the helicopter said, "Look, mate, if he says he's in pain, he's a farmer. He's in fucking pain. Yeah, because farmers, don't matter how fucking hard you think you are, don't matter how big you think you are, when you say something, you fucking mean it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it takes a lot for people like us to come out." But when you, <laughs> you're all right, <laughs> fucking hell. It Sorry, I know it's coming. not a moment, but Sorry. you phrase that. Don't know, get back in the closet. <laughs> when, <laughs> anyway, when you say you've got something wrong, you've got something wrong. wrong. Yeah, yeah. And that's, you need to fucking listen, and you need to it. listen hard, and for as long as they fucking want you to. Yeah, we I don't complain about a lot. No, like we've got a lot to complain about, well, and we just get used. I know to we've heard it to all night. About. Alright, steady. I oh, haven't lost the steady. dirt, the dust. Well, my mates box. have lost the dirt, the dust. And I haven't known. I've known Hector since it happened, but I've not known Alex since it happened. But if one of them, any one of my mates, to, for that matter, called me up three o'clock in the morning, I'm answering that phone. If I think there's something wrong, I'm answering that phone, and I will let it go until yeah. it fucking until they, I know they're all right. Yeah. I have gone. My mate, who I was talking about previously. I've been at home at 11 o'clock at night and he has called me in serious need. Bamos, get down there. I drove down there to Newbury, which is best part of an hour's drive. Yeah. Which it's not fuck all, really. It's an, an hour. hour's drive to save your life, your mate's life. Yeah. And it's fuck all to you. But to them, it means fucking everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I haven't had to deal with what these two have gone through and I will never know. Well, I might never know. But I speak for me and probably him as well i greatly appreciate all the nights that you've said what are you doing angel we'll go pub or no yeah yeah it's just little things like that that take your mind off whatever else yeah, is going get on get you out yeah it's, we, met up I, night, we just sat on your tailgate for two hours didn't we yeah yeah well, he, I had, he had a full I, pack of dark fruits in his in a fucking cooler was food. it a ford fucking ranger though no nah, Fuck ford ranger god damn ford ranger no, fucking japanese thing i remember after especially after you that I come to yours that one night and we sat there having a fire but we both had a fucking it's not as weird as it sounds you can be a man you can fucking cry we both yeah. had a cry I'm I very close to her right now but it's it's getting that point you like, fucking let yourself go my oh, son oh believe me I'm about to <laughs> but like Dan just said I, d- I didn't know either of these boys when I lost my old man but everyone I knew at that point in time I don't really speak to now yeah these the boys you get, like, I met these two at college, well, not at college, but through yeah, college through people. college people. And it's those people that you meet and they fucking, they sort you out. And, like, me and H have had plenty of chats about things and about our old man and our family and everything like that. And it's your old man, but it's also, it, it's, your, it's your boy. It, yeah, like, you boys have got your boys. You've got your snake, you're everyone like that. You've got your boys. That's your fucking group. They look, you look after each other. And you make sure you're all right. That's the main thing. Like we've got a group chat that weirdly enough is called "Was that necessary?" Because half the shit is posted in there wasn't necessary. <laughs> a lot of it wasn't necessary. <laughs> but we've got us three, and then I'll make Jack. We've shouted out. I'll make Luke, and I'll make Toby. But 
if something's fucking wrong, you can say it in there and some fucker will help mm. you. Yeah. No one judges anyone in no. in our in our little use the term loosely, but it's like a little family in there. Yeah. yeah. And if you've got if we're having banter with each other, we'll rip the fuck into each other all night long. And it is fucking hilarious sometimes. Like some of the shit that we come out with, like Luke, bless him, got on the wrong end of a crow banger once and lost a ah, finger yeah. and a half. So he's eight Ooh. and a half fingers. Yeah. yeah. He played a game of chicken and lost. <laughs> yeah, he lost that game. Well, no, but, he won, I know it's he won, didn't he? feel that. Depends which way you look at it. No, nah, the crow banger won. His finger ended up all over the wall. Yeah. Um, but. But do you know the weird serious, thing about that? It's because when I was. When we was at college. We always said, you ain't a proper farmer till you've lost a limb. And do you know what? That is so fucking wrong. Yeah. And the first thing I thought when he showed me a picture of his, his thing, I thought, fuck, ain't you're a proper, proper farmer. farmer. <laughs> I thought, fuck, he's a proper farmer. And that is so wrong. Yeah. And yet it's so funny. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, in that group, yeah, we rip the fuck into each other 24-7. But if one of us says, look, lads, I'm not feeling it today. All of the other ones who look at it, and we all look at it all the time, are there for each other. And that's, that's the main thing. Because I don't get... And I know it, I'm, it's a community. Yeah, and I know I'm the it's most sort of recent to have the bereavement, as it were. But I don't get a day go by where I don't think about him and miss him. And even like I can honestly say, every day I pick up the phone and go to push his phone number. I still remember it off by heart. Yeah, I remember my mum still. Know, yeah, and you know, you know what it's like. You just think I just want to ring her and just yeah, I just want to ring her and chat. let her know. Like how my life's gone in the last seven yeah, years, you exactly. know, it's it's fucking weird. Like I just want to ring mine and tell him what I've been up to because he would always, he was a, he wasn't always the most sort of congratulatory as it were. Like he'd yeah. never praise you massively. No, no, but no. If you did he something was the right, most interested. Yeah, he would always like because he was a machinery dealer. He was out and about all the time. Like I do probably 40, 50,000 miles a year. And he made that look like pocket change. He was always out and about driving. But I remember every single time I was doing something new or different that I hadn't done before, if I rang him and told him, he would take time out of his day and he would come and sit in the corner of a field, follow me up the road, do whatever I was doing while on the phone to me and just say, God, you're doing that all right. Or you could do this a bit better. You could do that a bit better. And the two sort of main things I've done since he's not been about is drive a digger a lot more, which was one of the things that he was always good at. And I've got a picture of me about 18 months old, I think, maybe two years old, That's on a little picture. one and a half ton de Coochie digger and we were digging the foundations from my grandparents' greenhouse. And that's always been one of my favourite pictures and I always wanted to show him how good I was now, or how good I am mind. now on a digger. Yeah. And I just, I, yeah, I miss it. Every time I sit in a digger, I'm like, golly, oh man, I'd love this. Yeah. You'd like, I sat in a 13 ton case giving it the fucking year you. Got it on, <laughs> yeah. one, got it on one track, loading 25 ton of yeah. shit in under three minutes. Like, Get on. Peach. And I, I can't <laughs> do it. And yeah. yeah, not a day goes by when I don't think about things like that. And the boys in the group chat get me by because I'll tell them instead. And they're like, fucking, well, that's not bad going, that shack. A fucking fair load on there, mind. Think just little things. I'll still take the piss, mind. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> but yeah, then, that'll never change, will it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, You're not digger of Stephen of Hawking. Yeah, you've yeah. got to take the piss a bit. Yeah, if you don't take the piss, I know something's wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, when someone doesn't laugh at something else, you know it's not right. But, yeah, I just think as a... As a community, and I know I've already said it a few times, but just just message each other. Just keep in contact with everyone. Doesn't That's matter the main, if it's only that one, is the main thing. one or two messages a day. That's all it, it takes. Don't take fuck all. Mm. I've the amount of times I've, I've been... struggled a bit. I, mm. I and I know for a fact I haven't told you. I haven't told anyone. Mm. But I have struggled a bit, especially during this season. I have been flat out and um, recently got a new missus. Love it a bit. But mama thick, mama, oh, <laughs> mama thick. <laughs> <laughs> but you um, it. you're sort of you're working seven days a week, and all this is in your brain all the time is when am I going to see her? Like, am I going to get a chance to just fucking have a chat? Have spend a, a few hours. I spend mm. a few hours, like, and it generally gets you down when you realise, fuck, I ain't got any spare hours. I ain't going to see her for another two months. That's it. We're yeah. and I have I have been October, really like. I know at least two twice this season, I've been quite low during mm. the day because she's been out sort of, and I don't blame her for it, with me, me family. Doing something. Doing something. And you're sort of sat in your tractor working, thinking, well, yeah. this is shit. Yeah. And yeah, I don't what, blame her I... one bit. I think it's absolutely fair play. Cause I... You crack on. But part of your brain's just going, wish I was there. Yeah. yeah and no, I, I want to spend time with you. I second that. Because my missus, like... I mean, you got yours a little bit before mine. Yeah. It sounds like we're talking about fucking cars or something. But... <laughs> <laughs> of 
Mine's a new Mine's a new model. Is she a 2016 or? Oh, gosh, she's she's brand new drive. <laughs> she's but, a honey. Like. I started going out with my missus in April this year and I, I want to do a shout out to my missus, shout out Abby, because she has been an absolute trooper this summer because yeah. I've been working all the hours that God sends plus quite a few more and she stuck by me. Shout out Abs. And yeah, she, she stuck by me all the times that, that she said, oh, can you come and do yeah. this? Like my, like her family have invited me to do something. Like, oh, I can't do that tonight. I got, I'm like working late. We've got shit to do. And all the times that I've done that and she still stuck by me and said, look, it's all right, I understand, I get it, you're busy, <coughs> you got to do what you got to do. And she's still been there. Yeah. She hasn't upped and left. And I appreciate that more It takes than... a lot from a woman to do that, to be fair. The amount yeah, of hours exactly. we put in... Fucking hell. Yeah. When, when you you're, think... Like I said, when you're working 130 hours a week, you're doing seven days, you're working 8 a.m. or 7 a.m. till 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night, you ain't got the chance to see no one. No. You just want to go home. As you just want to go to finish, bed. You're done. And if you yeah. do see them at the odd rainy Saturday or the odd rainy Sunday, you're, you're in the worst fucking mood you've ever been in because <laughs> you haven't had the sleep for five weeks. Because you haven't slept. They've come over and you're like, "All right, yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How's your week been then? Oh, you've had to do this. Ah, oh, well, fucking sucks to be you, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. You have that. You always have that and bitterness about you. Yeah, you have that bitterness, and there's no reason for it except for the fact you work stupid hours. And I, I will, I will put my hands up to my my other half, the old ball and chain. Like she's been spot on. She really has been spot on. But um, by the sounds of things, we want to shout out to all farmers' wives yeah. out there. Yeah, oh, shout out to yeah, all farmers' wives yeah. because half the time you're the ones keeping it through. Yeah. Farmers' wives are fucking counsellors at the end of the day. Aren't yeah, they? They are, yeah. Yes. You get home yeah. and you put the fucking world to rights, no matter what. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll shout. I out did my the other day. Every I had an day. absolute shit of a day ploughing, and yeah. I got home and she was already at my house, and I just spent half an hour just fucking moaning. <laughs> I wouldn't fucking put that shit. Oh yeah, big cuddle. Yeah, yeah big cuddle. It, that, yeah. Naked yeah. cuddle. Don't like, be suffocating afraid. And cuddle. You That's just one. fucking <laughs> like we had, we had that conversation about best nights out and this and that. The best night in is when you've had a fucking shit day or a fucking shit week and you see that one person that cares. Yeah. And not one person that cares, but you Sometimes see... Sometimes you don't even know. You just see yeah. a person. You see her. Yeah. And she's just... You spend all night and you just you just have a cuddle and it's fucking nice because mm. someone's like... There's not been. It, don't be afraid to be the little spoon. Let's put it that way. No, <laughs> oh, no. No. I am little spoon all the it's, fucking yeah, way. But there's yeah. nothing wrong Love with having little spoon. To, oh, you fall asleep you on the sofa. Fucking choice you're fucking Marlon. <laughs> <laughs> and big old titties in the back. <laughs> but you fall asleep with like your head on their fucking lap on the sofa, and it's just yeah, it's fucking lovely. Yeah, they they fucking look after you. That's the main thing. And yeah, yeah. They, they they are our rocks. Yeah. Oh yeah, big time. Fuck me, yeah. Shout out to the women. Shout out to women. With without them, we can do it. Yeah, definitely. Nah, no, yeah. Not a chance. You know not it. a fucking chance. You know. It. Obviously, it's... like I don't do what you do. I don't do hundred plus hours a but... week. I'm now in a nice job, which is like eight and a half, five, five miles away from home. Yeah. But, but I don't think it matters a fuck what you do. It mm. doesn't matter. Yeah. It, it, we're looking at we're it talking from, it from like I've got pr- boys in my family yeah. that are plant fitters that are mechanics that are agricultural fitters that are farmers like me and it's it doesn't matter what industry you're in don't be afraid and just fucking talk to someone yeah. if something's wrong remember the doghouse is mind. always here the doghouse exactly. is always there I, I'm not afraid to say us boys are always there. If it, I don't care who, if you know me, if you don't know me, if you want to fucking have a chat with someone, like we were saying earlier, it doesn't matter if you know him or not. Josh Hardy, for example, just drop us a DM. I don't give a yeah. fuck. And to anyone who's listened to this, shit with anyone. that has got in the underscore doghouse underscore on Instagram, <laughs> like us three as a three, one of us is always on it and we've all featured on it at some point. So if you want someone to chat to that you haven't ever spoken to before who won't judge you for anything yeah. other than another message on Instagram... Drop us a message because we'll always yeah. listen yeah. So, and we'll always time. give you an opinion and support and we'll help because we've all been there in different ways. And I'm sure, Reg, Marlon, Titch, you're all the same. You've all experienced it from different points of view. Of course. And you'll all all help. Yeah, man. And if, and you've, got, if you've got a mate on Instagram or you've got a, if you've got a mate in general and you call them up and they don't want to know about it, fuck them off out your life because they ain't fucking worth yeah. it. They exactly. ain't mates. Yeah, yeah. They either want you for your trailer, 
You <laughs> fucking draw a bar or your money. That's yeah. the fucking if one. they don't want to know, get them the fuck out of the way. Yeah. You're not worth Find the fucking someone rubber they stood on. No, exactly. Your mates fuck aren't off. your mates at the best of times. Your mates are the mates at the worst right, of exactly. times. Yeah. yeah. Your mates are there when you're at your lowest. Yeah. And Every I know day. everyone in this room has been there when I've been at my lowest. Oh, yeah. And I know that they will enjoy the times when I'm at my best more than people who are just there because they want things. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm not... I don't talk to anyone who I want things from. I talk to people that I want to be friends with and I want to make sure they're okay and I want to see other people do well. And I'm sure everyone else is the same. You want to see your mates do well. Oh, you yeah, want to see them succeed. Yeah. In you, a, want, yeah. you want, you want to, to see them happy. Yeah. Be, you be, want to be see the best you can be. Life. Exactly. And as much as it's, it, I always find it that any farmer you speak to and you say, yeah. how are you getting on? They'll go, living the dream. Yeah. That's my biggest thing. Fucking pet peeve. I'll say it to people, but it's my biggest pet peeve is living the dream. Because I, I know for every a fact that shit's covering shit up. Every yeah. single customer yeah. that comes in, how yeah. are you getting on? Living the dream. Living yeah. the dream, mate. That ain't fucking, that ain't you real. Know that's you ain't bullshit. living the dream. You need to, li- <laughs> don't live the fucking, live the dream, yeah, but be good while you're living it. Talk yeah. to people. Red, speak how you what's home fucking your wrong. Living the dream. <laughs> oh, I'm just- <laughs> I'm just fucking cash and checks and broken necks. You know me. But... <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, I really anyway. appreciate that, boys. I yeah. think that's... Uh... Sorry about that. No, so, no. Don't, right, don't, um... no, don't apologise in any way. I think it's a really fucking important thing to talk about. And it's something we're going to be talking about a lot more on the podcast. Yeah. I know we have a fucking laugh and we have the beers and we take the piss yeah. out of each other. It's all fucking fun and games. Yeah. But on the more serious side of things, it is incredibly important to talk about stuff like this because I feel like, like I said, as we're growing bigger, you know, it is, I feel it, like we've got, we've got a perfect got, platform to push it out. And on. we've got a fucking duty. Exactly. We've got a duty to do it. You know, I've been through the fucking ringer with it. Fucking Marlon's been through his own shit and uh, Titch is going through shit as well. So, you know, I think it, we've got a duty to put it out there. If we mm. don't, we're doing something wrong. So, Yeah. No, I really appreciate it, boys, and thanks for being the first guys to like sort of bring it to the forefront of this no podcast. Problem, and uh, yeah, yeah, and so like we're Brandon fucking Uso. privileged. That's, we're, that's, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, really privileged. Yeah, I just want to add a little tiny thing on to the end. Oh, go on. Go no on. one's ever too big to cry. Yeah, because oh, yeah. I, I know. Know. Yeah. I'll stand there. And I'll stand bastard. there as the biggest man in the room. Quite easily, <laughs> you wish. And I can honestly say I've cried more times than I can remember in the last eighteen months. Yeah, but I. No one's too big to cry. You can always yeah. cry, and you can cry to your mate as well. Like I've cried to both of these two and a few of my other mates as well. Oh yeah, so and it's I. a lot easier. Yeah. Get it out. Don't hold it yeah. in. Oh yeah, yeah. It oh, in is what causes me, the problems. Yeah. I mean, like, just fucking get it out. I'll shout out H, but my my H is I love Dano a bit, and he knows. Oh, I'm never going to come as close to H as you. Are. H is I don't no. know. There's just that. I think it's because of what has happened when this and that. Yeah. But there is that, connection, that connection between me and H. But the the other person I will shout out my most is my eldest fucking cousin because he grew up with my old man and I count him as another fucking uncle, basically. Um, But he grew up with my old man and my granddad and everything and he's the one that I do everything at Steam Fair with. And every single Steam Fair, me and him will have a hug and we'll have a fucking cry together because that's our thing and that was their thing. And we're like... There was one old man and his old man, and now there's me and him. It's superimposed. Fu- yeah. yeah, we're me and we we are each we're them. Yeah, and we'll have a fucking cry and hug together. And he's fucking forty year old this year, I think. But I love him the fucking bits, and he is my. If I had a problem at three o'clock in the morning, doesn't matter. That he's got four kids and a wife and everything like that. I could ring him there. up and go to his fucking house, and he would be there, and he will look after me and. It's family, it's friends, it's the people, like H said, that want to be there for you. If they don't want to be there for you and they want to use you, fuck them off. Get them out of your life, delete yeah. them, block them, everything. Yep. The, Get the rid of them every time. They ain't things. worth it. Ta-da. Exactly, exactly that. And I know all the mates I've got on my Instagram, my Snapchat. I know I can message every single fucking one of them and I know I'll get a message back at some point. It might not be straight away. No, Not everyone's no. got the chance of messaging straight away. But yeah. I know I'm going to get a message back. Right, so yeah, we're going to totally fucking side you now. <laughs> Love it. I mean, absolutely oh, change no. the fucking tempo. Sounds Go on, him. Right. Why not? Big it up. We're going to do Young Farmer Bingo. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. <laughs> What's this shit? You're saying this like we're Young <laughs> Farmers. That's a tune. Oh, right. Right. Zuri's on the job. As much as you say slide out, can I have a piss before this? Yes, you can. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do a quick pause. Love you, bye. G'day, folks. And we're back from our piss break. So we'll ca- we're going we're gonna to do Young Farmer's Bingo. Yep. So, I want you to say yes 
if the answer to any of these questions is yes. <laughs> right. Wow. It's quite simple. I'm going to start us off. Who has owned a TD5 disco? Yes. Right. Nope. Just the one then. Yeah. Just right, the one TD5 owner, actually. And I blew it up. <laughs> and bonus points if it was a straight through. It was a straight through. Oh, that's, <laughs> two, no, that's two points of that. Straight through, side exit. <laughs> and whoever wins this with the most points at the end will be crowned king of the young farmers. What do we win? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> but I, fuck that shit. I, I bought want... a buck fast. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I don't want to win. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, so, second question. Now, I just want to say I wrote these before I had ever seen any of you in person. So, this is going to be fucking oh, yeah. hilarious. <laughs> Marlon, oh, would you like to take question two? Okay. Uh, who's got a shuffle? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you get bonus points for the more you have or not? Oh, yeah. oh you can do. I only five. have one. You have one. five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. because someone went to private school. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Private school. Oh. Where am I about? Tory cunt. <laughs> private school. <laughs> Guys, the chicken's on the move, like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Timmy Tarmac. You know Timmy Tarmac. <laughs> Timmy <Yeah>. fucking Tarmac. <laughs> right. Next mm. one, Reg. Has anyone had young farmers do it in wellies on the back of their car? No. no. I've had it on a shirt, but not on a car. Does that oh, count? Oh, we'll give it, yeah. We'll give it <laughs> one for that. Oh, we Stop with the fucking... <laughs> I'm going to need a cane to wrap Steady your right, knuckles. Steady right, now, Jack Sparrow. Oh, I don't, <laughs> I'm actually Captain Jack Marlon. <laughs> You are without doubt the worst pirate you've ever heard of. Captain Jackass. But you have heard of me. I thought he was the new RuPaul. (laughs) Marlon Strike Race UK. (laughs) I would watch that. (laughs) Some bloke's turning up in dress as he turns up in a GTR like, oh, I think we've got a wrong idea. (laughs) Job's fucked. (laughs) Job's fucked. Right, so who owns a polo belt? Yeah. No. no. <laughs> RM Williams through and through. Yeah. Champion no, RM Williams. No, I got International Harvester. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, King is on that one. On my international It's so harvester. funny because I know, now you've now I've met you all and we've spoken. I know most the answers to these questions. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not wearing a fucking I'm wearing RM Williams tonight. No, I know you are, but I'm not wearing a tonight. Wow, well, yeah. <laughs> Go on, next question then. I'm next question, me. Reg. Next question is, who has got that Grassmen merchandise? Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, We've all got it. Why? <laughs> it's good work wear. Oh, yeah, I do I only wear it. my jumper for work. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> and the next one... <laughs> oh, Lord. I, know, I already know the answer to this. Who owns a Stetson? Yes. Oh, I, yeah. I, I, do, I want to get one. Trucker cap. Stetson. No. No. All right. No, it's got to be a cowboy hat. Mine is a Stetson trucker cap. Yeah. No. Yours is like All your right. Fairfax and favourite boots. I will get one. On I just want to go to America to get it in a minute. You can't I refuse mate. to buy one from England <laughs> because they it. don't steam I want them. to go to a shop <laughs> that makes it fit my head. <laughs> That's going to that take a lot of reason. effort. There are at least... My head's not that big. There must be... 10 shops within the southwest that will sell Stetsons and I refuse to buy them from anyone no. because they won't steam them to the shape I want. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly oh, my problem. There's one in Fairham yeah. and they were like, yeah, we do all the Stetsons. I was like, yeah, but do you steam them? Like, yeah, no. And I was yeah, like, yeah, well, I don't want one then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not spending 200 quid on a hat. I can't shape them. They, they also cut the rim yeah. size. To yeah, they do the shape. lot. Yeah, they do everything. It, like, that will oh, fit you. That like is where I'm going. Yeah, all right, eastbound and down. Let's calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up, big Jerry. Yeah, you. Reg. Next question is: Who owns a crew or Jack Will shirt? Crew. Yeah, crew. Oh, yeah. Right. Go crew. on. What points for multiples? I got, uh, I got four. three crew shirts. I'm not cool enough. <laughs> not. Paid Who's got enough. three? He's got three. 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 He's, He's got, got three. Yeah, I'm going to have brand debt. I can't afford no crew. All right. So clothing. H is like top and leader. How many of you got? H. Brilliant. How many have you got? Four, four, four or five. Oh my right. Four or five. Well, I, I think I've got five, but one of them doesn't fit no more, so I wear it when no one else is looking and I've got a hoodie on. I know the one. <laughs> I know. Private Look like yeah. an orange Michelin man. Yeah, like. the, the mid twenties hit us all hard. Who owns mid twenties? We've not met the mid twenties yet. <laughs> It'll hit you on a fucking freight train. I was born train. in 99, you prick. That's You're terrifying. old. I look like a cheese string wearing glasses. <laughs> I prefer Afghan racing snakes. I was out shooting today. I love today. Afghan I racing snakes. God, I was out shooting today. I walked past the gun nine, and one of the guns went, ah, oh, it's nice to see the youngins out. And I went, I'm 23. <laughs> <laughs> no 
there was a 12 year old sitting next to me. <laughs> Go on, on don't talk about 12 year olds. Uh, oh, yeah, check our drive. She said she was 12. <laughs> right, so who actually owns <sighs> an Agri Spec diesel pug? Yeah, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Mark's got Agri Spec on a bumper, if that's anything. It's not a pug, though, right, is it? Feeling fine in the six in line. I did have a pug and then a back axle fell off. <laughs> <laughs> was Shot it an Agri Spec one? one? Oh, it was Agri Spec. Agri Spec. Yeah. <laughs> who's, who's owned an Agri Spec? Oh, yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah. Shout out. It brings a new meaning to. The no, front fell off. Okay. <laughs> the back fell off. The front fell off. Yeah. Well, maybe just not as safe as quite some of the other. <laughs> some of them built to the back don't fall off at all. Anyway. Oh, we <laughs> towed it out of the environment. Strict maritime. Oh, Strict, Strict maritime. Reg. No rubber. No paper. Right. No cardboard. I- <laughs> 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 Fucking love that skip. I'm really <laughs> trying to concentrate. <laughs> Right, who has been to rally SWA or AGM with a horrendously crin- with a hor- horrendously cringy slogan on a bright coloured shirt? Like, yes, I've, I've never, got never been to AGM. Slogan, never been AGM. I don't ever. even know what that means. It just said "Young Farmers." Dot dot. Drink triple, C double, act single. Right, <laughs> love it. So this next question is I mean, fantastic. <laughs> do not follow so, those instructions. <laughs> <laughs> that is not advice. That's just a recommendation. <laughs> Right, Allegedly, so that AGM was. They both lit- turned fuck. up in obviously two cars to my house earlier. Are you gonna, yeah, right? Why not? Tory cunt. Who's got a CB area on their car? Yeah, all three of us. Of us, of us, of us yeah. <laughs> right, they okay. are like just, literally. Right, can we have extra points if you actually have the CB in there as well? Yes, all not just a CB. Area. I know we do, but all the cunts you put whippies on, but don't yeah, actually true. have a oh, CB. Right. Did you even, did you even go fuck get themselves? The Snapchat I got from one of the blokes at our hunts. No. From their dealers. No. He's got his tranny van for his uh, call oh, yeah, job. You sent me it. He's yeah, got yeah. a bar going across the track of his tranny. He has got a light bar, Back, two LED spots, and two LED, two whips on either end, not wide in 20 feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Check the hard drive. We have actually got CBs. Yeah, we chatted. On the way down here, we were chatting on them. That's right. like, literally, as they turned up, I was like... They got fucking whips on the back, mind. Ah, you know. Uh, Bear in mind, they are five say, foot H? whippies. Yeah. I, I went the wrong way. See, they went on eBay and brought them for fifty quid for the set. I went to a, uh, I you went, went to the a hag dealer and spent hundred and sixty <laughs> ah, on a thunder pole <laughs> setup. This is a mini. Oh. This is a mini whippy. Ours are five foot whippies. I've I've got got a full size a thunder whippy. pole on my <laughs> one of my old Vitaras. Did you have a light bar as well? Because you know how Reg hates light bars, uh, and I've got one of them. Did you have a lurcher seat. on a passenger seat of your Vitara? A what? Why the a fuck would I want to make that? It's not one of the lurchers, does it? Is. No, I don't have lurchers. Ah, he's Carson. Just got jugs, mate. He's <laughs> Carson. <laughs> Giggity. He can catch what? himself. Giggity. Proper fuck, Tommy. Yes, Tommy. Proper fuck. Proper fuck. <laughs> right, final question of Young oh. Farmer Bingo. Who has... And bonus points for the amount you have had... Oh, oh, has or had... A missus who is horsey as fuck. Uh, oh, bear with me. <laughs> They're all I've pointing had, on their fingers. <laughs> I've had three. Can I borrow someone right, else's who, fingers? Right, who had three? Me. Right. I've had three. <laughs> I'm Does still, it count as I'm misses counting. or just sort of well, connection? <laughs> no, yeah. well. A, a, Bit a, on the side. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Longer than a, well. Your missus is going to. It depends how you. ended up on Facebook. It depends as how you would introduce them to somebody. This is my mate. Shag. Yeah, yeah, no. Fr- mate doesn't count. If you were uh, like, this is my... Um, Your missus is going to rip you in your ass, Elmo. Yes, yeah, she is. Might enjoy it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth? Yeah, no, don't knock a finger in the bum. <laughs> you went that one fucked up, didn't you? <laughs> Job's fucked, Joe. Um, he's only got six it? buttons. He can't quite work that out. Oh, no, he's got eight. I'll let him off. Right, have we got four. four. Right, we got four. And mm. Hector, you don't have to disclose, but it may affect Three. your score. Just hold your fingers up. No, I'm joking. Three, mate. Yeah, I'll right, do I've that got you quite right. badly. Right. <laughs> Reg? Right, the scores are... There you go. <laughs> How have you kept score of this shit? Oh, I've right, been keeping score. This is a shit the show. scores on the doors. Scores on the doors are as follows. Go on, Carol. Guys, uh, the chicken's on the move, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're one... Ca- oh, no, you've got more than one cafe camera. All good. That wasn't the button so, I was aiming for. <laughs> in Stop third place, buttons. Dano. Dano! In second place. Do you know what? I'm glad about that because Young Farmers are cunts. <laughs> Kinger. Thank oh, you God. very much. And in first place, for with, fuck's sake. with 18 points. <laughs> wow! 
That's almost as many as I had on my driving license at one point. So <laughs> almost as many STDs you've had. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly. So yeah, allegedly. we've got Dano with nine, King with 12, and H with 18. <laughs> so you have literally doubled Dano's score. And Out I'll, fucking standing. I'd like to shake your hand, as you know how I feel about young farmers. Thank Same. you, sir. <laughs> right, can I just clarify? <laughs> yeah. right. Out of the three, three of us, who's paid for a young farmers membership? No? No? no. Yes. H? Technically, no. I just signed yes on a piece of paper. Right, you also ended up as the, uh, what did you end up as? Secretary or chairman? No, I was or? vice chairman. Chief yeah, non- vice chairman. Vice chairman means of you a young farmers. I reckon that's minus about, money. I don't know, 10 points? Yeah. Oh, Me and you off. have never actually signed up for a young no. farmers club. So can what? I have a handshake as well, please? Yeah, of course you can. Is it going to be a proper handshake no, that wet chlamydia. fish shit you just No, it was pretty wet to be <laughs> honest. I won't shit. lie. <laughs> I've got a fucking really nasty scab on my little uh, finger. Don't be a pussy. <laughs> it hurts like fuck. Chlamydia. <laughs> there's, some, there's some metal in it. I can't get it out. Long story. Anyway, right. Magnet. I think that is a beautiful place to end it. I got a couple of little points to oh, just say. Um, oh, fuck. Uh, no uh, more about your Mega Drive, please. No. Shout out to Sammy for being a fucking useless cunt. <laughs> Yeah, um, what? yeah tell, tell me the story. Right, so... Because I've heard it, it's been a long going thing off the podcast. This got sent off um, two weeks ago. It's been attempted June. delivery three June. times. June. That is June. <laughs> attempted delivery three times. I'll put an attempted. Um, so I've sent him the tracking details and all the information so he can sort it out himself. Um, I want to say I'm sorry, but I'm not because you're fucking useless. But we do love you. <laughs> we do love Sammy. And I just want to do a big, big thank you to Reg. Oh, no. What? For what? For fucking keeping the Insta lit. Yeah, yeah, Reg has been like, shout out on, on the Insta. The fucking point. Everybody out. knows I'm shit at social media. Like, I literally put my first reel up tonight. <laughs> Steady. And it, I, it's, it's awful. But, like... Reg keeps the social media lit. And then you the got Facebook is my domain and the Insta and is like... <laughs> yeah. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you. It's the first bit of like actual nah, non, 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 like, that is non-ripping you've given me. Ever. I'm not but crying, always I'm just, still just remember just fuck Reg. Ass. Hashtag fuck Reg. Uh, but hashtag Reg is awesome on Insta. Oh, cheers, man. I do appreciate Shout it. Out yeah. Reg. Um, Shout I out, do, Reg. Thank you. I do... That, that is why we're at this big milestone now. Of a thousand followers. Oh, that's Yay! Fucking Yay! Steady, Vincent. Steady. You do you, boo, because you're a far better than I. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm just. I'm just ripping and tipping. You know me, boo. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, uh, a massive, uh, a massive shout out to, as, as always, all our listeners, all our followers. Every, yeah. every week, the numbers are going up, and we like to welcome everyone that listens to it and. We all love that, you all. All that fucking good shit. Right. Uh, have you got anything else? I've got one more. You crack on. Oh, I've just got one more from uh, Titch here, our producer. You know what? Fuck it, Titch. It'd be easier if I just let you have the mic, mate. Go on, Shout out to Titch. Fucking hell. I feel like royalty in this fucking seat of yours, Reg. Oh, you are. Oh. Yeah, you better feel privileged on that. Shout out, Titch, mate. You've been fucking spot on all night. Yeah, fair play. Fair play. Shout out for the only man who makes Reg look short. <laughs> Jimmy Marlon. Right. Well, obviously, <laughs> last week, yeah, last week, obviously, the episode came out with episode two of Around the World in Eighty Beers. Absolute hell of a couple of episodes. Absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah, if you haven't listened, hurts. <laughs> if you haven't listened to it, make sure you get on it. But we are doing a giveaway. Um, so anyone who shares a story, tag in in the doghouse, uh, Beer Hunter UK, and uses the hashtag Up Your Beer Game. Obviously, we're going to send that a crate of beer. So by the time this episode comes out, we're going to do the giveaway today when this episode comes out. Uh, so share it all about. I'm writing down all the names. I'm going to put them in a little bit of a raffle, and I'll send you out a free crate of beer, courtesy of myself and Beer Hunter UK. Shout out Beer Hunter UK. Shout, shout out Hunter Beer UK. Hunter. Up oh, Your yeah. Beer Game. Also, um, remember the fucking discount code INDH10 for 10% off your first order. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Right. So, that's a lovely place to end it. Oh. Yeah. 220 um. in. Greg's going to get all autistic. Also, Greg, uh, Greg <laughs> told me Greg earlier, <laughs> this is one thing I wanted to mention. Oh, so, no. he was Owie Diner. Have you heard of Owie Diner? 
can't say I have. Right, no. so they do like burgers and shit. So oh, oh, they've oh, 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 burger. I yeah, could go yeah, for oh, it. yeah, oh, oh, yeah, burger. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. So oh, they, oh, is it quite kiki? Sorry. They've released is like a guys? vegan version, oh. and he was telling oh. me to go and get the vegan oh. version. Fuck oh. off! Oh. Like, oh. You're sat in the company of three young farmers. You're talking to the wrong person, mate. We ain't woke. Thank you. So I like beef. Can we get a hashtag? Greg ain't woke. Greg ain't woke. Hashtag Greg ain't woke. But also at the same time, Greg eat meat. You. Fucking wet one. That's it. <laughs> to well, be fair, it's not him, it's his missus. Shout out to Han. I love Han. Does she not eat his meat? Is that what's going um, on here? Oh, no, I, oh no, I think that, that that's well established. That <laughs> yeah. the can you still um, suck we've... dick if you're a vegan? Yeah, you can, yeah. <laughs> oh, you can. Because you're not <laughs> eating it. <laughs> but also at the same time, that's not mad shout out to our boy Greg because without him, yeah. his podcast would sound like ass. And yeah, fair he, play. he makes yeah. us all sound good. Well so. done, Greg. So, on, on one of the best fucking episodes. Suck Greg. Ha- maybe. Suck something about uh, Greg. Yeah. yeah. Right. Honestly, anyway, no, we've already got the hashtag for the day. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag yeah. it's okay not to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Remember, always message Doghouse. We will always reply. We and might not give you the reply you like, <laughs> but we'll, we will always reply. <laughs> you might not yeah. like it, but we are here. And on behalf yeah. of us three, always message us. We're always here. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Go uh, for Instagram it, tags. We're, yeah, 100% get on it. What's I, your um, Instagram tag, your hero? I don't you fucking, fucking know. Hector, at Hector Neil, maybe? Yeah, Mine's so at Stano in the 406. Hell yeah, brother. At Dan O'Brien. D A N O. Unlike Marlon tries to spell it with two fucking N's. <laughs> Oh, Dane over there. Can Dan O'Brien. Can you count a 10 for B-R-Y-A-N-T. me, Dan O'Brien? Just check. Huh? Count a 10 for me, can you? 1, 3, 9, 8, 10. Well done. done. Good boy, well done. Done. Uh, anyway. <laughs> right, I think that's it. Uh, we're only a piece out. Right, and that is the end. <laughs> oh. oh. Until next week. Yeah. We love you all and we'll catch you later. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.